Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Welcome to Sewing Street on this glorious um, rainy morning. Oh, it's echoing again. It's echoing again. Sorry, I've got problems with the talk back. Have you ever heard that when you're, you must be in a cave or something and you can hear like yourself echoed? It's really weird. Anyway, anyway, let's brighten up this um, miserable rainy morning with um, autumn. It's autumn today. Well, it was autumn last week, but we've got some gorgeous autumn things. But we're going to um, start today with this glorious... Halloweeny pumpkiny um, jelly roll. Look at this. So, brand brand new. So, a jelly roll is um, two and a half inch width of fabric. Oh, this is so weird. Um, cut across the whole fabric width, and there are 40 or 42? 40, I think. 40 strips. So these are brilliant because they're all pre-cut. You can use them for various patchwork designs, you know, when you cut them into squares or join them all together to make binding. But I'll unroll it all. I'll never get it all back in again. And these are what we've got. So it's sort of autumn-y and Halloween-y. So can you see we've got orange, we've got skulls and ghosts, pumpkins. Um, we've got bats, black bats, spots, Cut um, cobwebs. That's the word. More pumpkins. So it's brilliant. If you want, if you maybe you want to make like um, a tote bag or or a decoration to put in your window, or if you want to make a big pump fabric pumpkin in all Halloween type of things, then this is it. Now the normal price for this is fifty four ninety nine, but it's brand new today and it's the early bird. So we are going to be, well, you're going to be saving 20 pounds. Wow, 34.99. But Hannah says we can do an extra spooky treat. Go on then. How much? Da, 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 da. 25 pounds saving. So 29.99 and look at it all. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look, we've got bats. They've got moons and stars. You often get in these jelly rolls, you'll get maybe a couple of strips of each print. But the great thing about jelly rolls is that you're getting um, one fabric, one or two fabrics from the whole fabric range. So you know that when you join them together, it will all coordinate beautifully because all the colors and tones. So if you see like with this one where you've got the diagonal stripes, then that's just brilliant, isn't it? Because it goes perfectly with the orange and the black. In this one, oh, look at that. I like that one. 
looks a bit like Jaffa cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Jaffa cake. Isn't it lovely? And we've got cats and spots. So there is a £25 saving with that, which is fantastic, isn't it? So it's only £29.99 instead of £54.99. Now, we are limited in the numbers of these that we've got. So if you want one, you need to put it in your basket and check out because if it's in your basket, it's not actually yours until you've checked out. So if you've got any halloween -y makes, you could even join um, strips together, cut them into triangles, and you'd have amazing patchwork bunting. You could bring it out year after year. Be brilliant. Every Halloween, you can decorate with these. Or if you're making a Halloween themed quilt, join them all together, end to end, join them diagonally, and then that's um, binding to go around your quilt or bags or anything. Morning, Rebecca and team. It's sunny and dry here in North North Yorkshire from Heather. Um, Heather, I think we're on the way because honestly, it's raining so hard outside. I could hear it inside the building. So lucky you. Oh, we need to go to North North Yorkshire, don't we? Definitely not mid mid Midlands. So twenty nine ninety nine. There's a twenty five pound saving on this bundle of jelly roll jelly roll bundle, which is brilliant. Right, just to let you know, quick stock update, there are fewer than 20 of these design rolls left in stock. They've been flying out. They are brand new today and you are going to be saving £25. Fab, isn't it? Especially when you think the post is only 3 95 40 strips, they're all two and a half inches wide. Oh, and it's Moda, forgot to tell you that. Forgot that bit, sort of important. It is Moda. So Moda is a fantastic quality. I mean, if you use Moda, you'll know. But if you haven't used Moda fabric, it's beautiful quality. It's, it's one of the sort of top designer um, brands. Oh, Catherine, my rights measured. Uh, morning, Rebecca, taking my daughter to uni today. Oh, Catherine. Oh, oh no. I hope it goes okay. Oh, I was reminiscing about taking my um, first one, my daughter, to uni. Oh, honestly, I cried for weeks before, all the way there. I'm most of the way back as well. <laughs> yeah I know she said to me the other day because she's a teacher oh I'm going to be really sad to say goodbye to my class I said it won't be as bad as when you went to uni honestly honestly it's terrible so my thoughts are with you Catherine and anyone else who's having to do that but let me say it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be if that's any consolation I you know oh, I thought it was going to I thought it was going to be terrible I remember in the morning in the shower just crying thinking I need to stop crying at some point it's ridiculous ridiculous but you know when your baby <laughs> when your baby leaves at you at home with your husband you go well, who am I going to talk to now it's just <laughs> terrible <laughs> I know honestly I was left with just boys can you imagine just boys I was like I had to, luckily I had a dog and she's a girl thank goodness Anyway, Catherine, I hope the journey goes well. Um, there are more people who've got this bundle in baskets that we've actually got available. So if it's in your basket and you're new to Sewing Street, remember you do have to check out. Put it in your basket and then check out. But don't worry, you don't have to think, oh, well, I'll just wait and see about the postage. You only get charged one P&P because your basket's closed at midnight. So if you put something in now and then something else at nine o'clock and then a couple of things at 10 o'clock and maybe one at three in the afternoon because you'd forgotten, um, you'll still only be charged the one three ninety five. So do keep checking out. Right, we are limited on this. So Hannah has created some, we're not allowed to call them early birds because we're supposed to have one, but these are called extra specials. This one, shades of autumn, this one is. Gorgeous, half meter of each of these. Now these are our quilting weight cotton, Rose and Hubble, beautiful quality fabric. Two and a half meters in total. So you are getting half meter. Now this is cut across the full fabric width. So it's 44 inches wide. They all are, I'll just show you one. So this is your 44 inch width, Rose and Hubble, quilting weight cotton, half a meter. Now we've put these together as a kind of an autumn, could be Halloween. Or they could be just colours that you need in your stash. So you've got half a metre of black, half a metre of purple, half a metre of red, half a metre of pumpkin orange, and half a metre of lime green. So it's very automated. Now, the full price for these would be 18 95 but Hannah's doing a special um, autumn steal. How much are we going to save today, Hannah? Um, go on then, she's having a little think. 
Oh. Shove a little thing if, if a finger can slip. 14 99 14 .99 for two and a half meters of fabric. So you're getting half a meter each of all of these glorious autumn, or they could be Halloween colors, or they could just be colors to add to your stash. Don't put, I like purple and orange. That's one of my faves. Look at that. So you are actually getting, with that saving, more than half a meter for free. Hannah was only actually meant to take three pounds off. How did you get away with taking four pounds off then? Yeah, Hannah, Hannah likes round numbers. Yeah, only like round numbers. Yeah, and then that was more. You could just say, when they say, why did you do that, Hannah? Go, well, I only like round numbers. Yeah. Oh, I see. It had to be 99, but that's not a round number anyway. Um, she can't even use that as an excuse. And she can't even say she's taken half a metre off because she's actually taken more than half a metre. Anyway, you're getting this, saving more than a half a metre, so you can have one for free. You can have a black one for free. There you go. 14 99 We've only got eight of this bundle left now, so if you want this one and you want to make that big saving, 14 99 So... Right, only six left. Six left. We're limited on all these autumny things, aren't we? So we've done another one. We've done another one. Now I like this one. This is very muted autumn. This is skipping through the leaves, isn't it? It's a very, very strange name. You are going to have to match the price of this one, though, Hannah. Have to say. So you're going to get in double trouble. Double trouble. Um. So these are really are, well, it's called squirrel forest. So I imagine the thought was the squirrel was skipping through the forest. And first of all, <laughs> they're kind of vintage. This is a vintage squirrel, by the way. It's got a lot of taste, this squirrel. Um, so we're getting rose, because that's kind of your first color, isn't it? You know, when the um, bright pinks go autumny. Then we get, um, is that terra terracotta? I don't think I've done this in order, really. Then we've got a nice biscuit. Squirrel likes biscuits. Um, then we've got gold, because that's... And then we've got... What's that green called? Sage. So that has beautiful autumny colours, isn't it? I think I'll put it that way. So they are very vintage. So you could use them if you were making autumn things, things, but they are a really lovely vintage colour palette. And Hannah has chosen these specially so that they blend together. So if you wanted some plain colours in vintage autumn tones and that you know that they'll all look lovely together, 14.99. Right, let me just show you what this looks like. So. That's a half a metre. That's your terracotta. And then we'll go biscuit. This is more of a digestive, I'd say. It's quite a rich biscuit. So this is actually working out at this price at 2 99 for half a metre. And this is our quality Rose and Hubble quilting weight cotton, all 44 inch width. You're getting half a metre. I'm not, I don't think you're allowed to do this, Hannah, with this. Well, you were told three and you went to four. That's only a pound, isn't it? I think it's, I think it's a marvellous saving for a horrible wet and windy day unless you're living in North North Yorkshire. Right, gold. I haven't done these very straight, have I? I just want you to see how much fabric that you're getting for 4 dollars 100% cotton as well. And this is quilting weight, so it's really good. It's really good to use this with print fabrics as well because it's the same wet, weight and quality. So you are getting all of this fabric. Aren't they beautiful? But you see, I mean, even if, even if you're not going to use all of them at once, I mean, that yellow and green, that takes you through to spring, doesn't it? Yeah, and actually, yes, that does go beautifully. If you've got William Morris prints, that works really well. And the biscuit, such a neutral colour. If you're using, if you tend to use like cream or ivory as a background fabric, this biscuit is lovely for this time of year. Often when you see autumn themed quilts, you'll, you, you'll see people use maybe a calico or a biscuit for the background. And it blends in beautifully. And I love the rose. There we go. 2 dollars for half a metre of Rose and Hubble quilting weight cotton.
I think that's a marvellous offer. Thank you very much, Hannah. Cheer us up this morning. Uh, your unintentional only like round numbers. There we go. Keep on checking out for that one. Fourteen ninety nine. You're saving four pounds. Yeah, just shy of four pounds in the total lot. So two and a half meters. Fantastic, isn't it? Anyway, get checked out on that. Right. Should we do today's menu? Look at all that. Look at all that. How beautiful. Um, so we've got some fab things on today. We've got shows and guests galore. So we are going to start off with a brand new guest today, Jan Blackmore, who is going to be um, demonstrating some autumnal homeware. We've got needle felting and we've got hand sewn, we've got pumpkins and we've got wreaths. You're going to love this. The kits that Jan's going to be demonstrating for us this morning are absolutely ideal for beginners, quick makes, um, really good to do with kids, half term coming up and perfect for decorating your autumn themed house. Uh, wait till you see them, great prices as well. That's going to be coming up in just a moment. And then we've got Rebecca Alec Van der Vost in the house. Yay. Now, she has brought back by popular demand the Mika wallet because it sold out. Last time we had it, the grunge colorway completely sold out very quickly. It's a fantastic wallet. Car will put everything in it. All your little, um, it's got lots of little dividers and things. And it's back in stock. We had so many people asking, when can we have it back? So Rebecca is in specifically to bring it back in stock we've got it in three different colorways and the pattern on its own as well as all of the um, extra bits and pieces you need for it the specialist stuff and i think that's what sewing streets great at is that we bring you fab kits but we also bring you all the specialist materials you need to make them that you might find difficult to get hold of um, like decaville that's one right 10 o'clock oh i'm going to be on then so it's um amber makes block of the month flower shop it's september that's actually so it's not a crossover bag that's wrong that was last month it is the it is the um, storage bucket do you want to see a picture of it there we go so the our september flower of the month is the blue hydrangea so we've used the blue hydrangea, printed it onto a panel, and I've made it into this storage bucket, which you could use for all sorts of things. I would plan to use it for my craft supplies or my yarn, but in this picture, it's got a pot of blue hydrangeas in it. So if you've never, if you haven't joined the block of the month, we've been doing it since February, but don't worry, we've got all of the previous kits available as well as matching charm square panels. So I will be demonstrating that at 10 o'clock and I'll have all the other kits at the same time. 11 o'clock, Becky will be back with a fantastic roundup of loads so many i don't know how we're going to get through all all of her lots of her previous kits she's going to be doing some demonstration of very specific techniques i think you'll love it's going to be a real learning and inspiration show we've also got some beautiful clasps that we bought in specially um birds bird clasps they're gorgeous for bags so we're going to be showing those as well um, and then at 12 o'clock, we've got homework kits you'll love. It feels like that kind of time of year, you know, now it is getting miserable and the nights are drawing in. Homeware, this is the time to make all those little items for your home, just to give you that cosy look. So we're going to be going through a whole range of all different feels and different themes, but they're all homeware kits. And that's at 12 o'clock. That'll be 12 p.m. That's confusing, isn't it? <laughs> that's so oh, we'll be, gonna, we'll be at midnight. Anyway, anyway, so how to shop. Now, for those of you who haven't shopped with us before, or if you're going to be going out and you think, oh, I don't want to miss out on that because you know what it's like, loads of our kits sell out. The easiest way to shop with us is to do it online, only because you can see the photos. So go on to www.sewingstreet.com. When you get on there, you'll see this screen. Now, if you click on Watch Live, which is at the top, then... Oh, Hannah's clicking on watch live then you get to watch me live but not only that you get to find all the products that we've got on today's show so there they all are in order so anything that we've already talked about as you can see there is on today's show deals anything that's coming up that we haven't talked about yet is in the column coming up on today's show if you scroll down there, look, these are the, all the brand new autumn kits that we're going to be showing you in a moment. Um, then we go on to Becky's hour, so all of her kits there. So if you want to get ahead with her Mika wallets, that's the grunge one that sold out before. 
then you can. So if you're going to be popping out at nine o'clock or worried that you're going to miss out like a lot of people did last time, you can get ahead. There's our specialist materials like the Decaville. Um, then we move on to the Amber Makes block of the month. So this is where you can buy the September block of the month. So you can get ahead with that. But you can also buy the previous blocks. I'll be explaining in that hour how it works and how we how it all joins together, etc. But if you want to buy the individual ones, they're all there, as well as the matching charm square panels. This is Becky's second hour, which is all of a big roundup of her previous kits. Gorgeous. So if you missed out on it, now look at those. These are our brand new bag lock clasps. They are in the maple kit, but we haven't been able to sell them on their own before. Aren't they gorgeous? They're flying like birds. So they're bag clasps, but in the shape of a bird. Aren't they gorgeous? And look at the price, only $4.99. Anyway, that's what's coming up in today's show. So if you want to get ahead, you can, and then you don't have to worry, you can just enjoy the demonstration. Right, so let's move on with our autumn homewares. Um, now we've got four different kits. This is the first one. Let me show you what it looks like. Now this is what you get to make. So if you're complete, this is needle felting, but if you're a complete beginner to needle felting, or if you've done it before and you just want to make a beautiful autumn coloured wreath, how nice that would that be to hang on your door? It doesn't have to be the front door, just an internal door would look lovely, wouldn't it? Isn't that beautiful? So it features lots and lots of different items in the kit, but everything that you need, bar the glue, to make this wreath. It's beautiful. So I'm going to go over to Jan and take my box with me, and then we can have a look at the kit. There we go. Morning, Jan. Morning. Morning. You're looking very autumny today. I know, it's great, isn't it? I think I'm still on holiday. I've got my summer dress on. I'm going to be a bit cold now. It's hard to get used to a change in weather, though, isn't it? Definitely. Don't know what to put on. No, so that's why I'm dressed summer. I think I'm still in Italy. So this is the first kit that we're going to do. We've got four kits today. So this is all needle felting. Now, is it easy? Very easy. Is it? OK. So again, even if you are a competent needle felter, what a lovely thing to do. Oh, I know. I sat in front of the telly and made all those. 54 balls. 54. Well, that's quite nice. because Because like you say, because you can sit in front of the telly. That's what we're doing now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Especially if you've got colder evenings. And it's a nice kit to give somebody because the kit comes, look, as everything, all in a box. Nice box. So a good kit to give someone as a gift. Yeah. yeah definitely. So what's in the box? So so in, in the box, box we have. Oh yep. yep. uh, no, that's fine. Okay. I can see. Okay. okay. So, so we've got, got the polystyrene wreath. Oh right. So that's the. Oh, let's put those on the yeah, desk. Yeah. Are we on overhead? So there we go. Yeah. 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 See that? Okay. See there. Um, so that's, that's the wreath, the yeah. ring that all the balls go on. That's right. And that's your felt that you glue on. Oh, that wraps. So, wrap yeah. so if you there. see this one, you can see yep. that wraps around the wreath. Yep. So you don't actually see the polystyrene. No, you don't. You don't see that. Brilliant. So you can wrap that round there. And there's two long legs. That's really nice quality felt as well with that one. And then you've got three colours. Okay. Just kit. to let you know that we have got a bit of an echo problem. So you might be hearing at your end. It's in my do my. End. Then you can hear, we're trying to sort it out at the moment. We've got IT involved there on the job. So sorry about the echo, but we will get it sorted out. Okay, so we've got that one okay. there, and then we've got three colours. Right. So with this lovely needle felt in one. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to stand a bit one. closer to you because we have okay. problems with mics as well. Oh, right. okay. It's all going wrong today because <laughs> it's raining. Oh. Probably got water in the system. <laughs> I'll put my mic on that side. So, and here it's a generous oh, okay. amount. So this is all the, the felting wool. Yeah. So you've got this lovely sort of cream oh, ivory okay. colour. Oh, that so is nice. These tops, aren't they? That's what they call these. Right. These needle felting. They're, they're called tops, often merino wool, but there's various types of sheep. Oh, okay. That they, you know, get the felt from. Right. Um, wool from, and then you create it into felt. So you've got the three colours there. Okay. Okay. And then we've and then, got balls. Yeah, you've got the, the little balls in here, as you can see. So I show you all the them. balls, because they're the one I'm up. not going to get them out. But they're all, <laughs> how many are there? 54. 54. So yep. these are all the baby balls that you yep. do all the felting around. That's see, right. I thought you'd have to make them yourself, but this is like kind no. of guaranteed a lot of time. accuracy. Yeah. It does, definitely. Because you would need, if you were doing it from the beginning, you would really need the bats. 
um, type, which is a much thicker type of felt yeah. wool to make, and it would take you forever. And this is guaranteed yeah, circles. Yeah, you've got the shape there. Yeah. It's done for you. So that's the idea behind it being a simple make to do for anyone. Your ribbon, ribbon to top. hang it up yep. and quite importantly oh and yeah. the needles are oh, in the yeah. so this is your little pad that you do your actual um, needle felting on here and in the side there are two needles there. okay so they've been put it's in fab there. kit there's so much in Lovely. here yeah and you get full instructions as well so all the instructions all in pictures are all yeah. in the kit as well yeah so it's really good easy peasy yeah so, so the only thing you'll need is glue yes and I Amazing. used a glue gun only because it was great for speed, really. Mm. But you could use a felting glue or um, a multi teaser glue. I think you've got some coming up on, yeah. the, on the show later on. We have got a glue gun. And a glue gun as well, so that's great. So yeah. we've put that on there. That's on the screen, 1099. That's our mini glue gun. Yeah. So if you want to get that, pop that in. And obviously, you can use that over again. And we've got refills for that as well. So there's the picture of the glue gun. It is a brilliant glue gun because it's a mini one and it's great for loads and loads of different crafts. It's one of those things, once you've got it, that's it. You then just buy refills and we do have refills available. I uh, will just put the refill. So if you've bought one before, I mean, it does come with some anyway, but you, you will probably need more. But if you want to get for one ninety nine, you just get another 10. But great for all sorts of crafts. It is really fantastic. I was always like, oh, I don't do glue because I'm a sewer. But then I bought a glue gun. Yeah. It's I'll just useful for, as, an, as an addition yeah, to absolutely. sewing. Absolutely. And for speed as yes. well, to be honest with And then you, we yeah. also have high tack, all purpose, very sticky glue. What a great name. Very mm -hmm. sticky glue. That's what it Does says the job. On the bottle. Just very <laughs> sticky glue. So if you want to buy this, to only two ninety nine. So if you're buying this for somebody, particularly as a gift, and you want to get the whole thing, they haven't included glue because obviously lots of people already have it. You can get the glue gun or the pot of glue, and then just pop it in the kit. But this is a lovely thing to do with someone else, isn't it? Isn't Definitely. It? Yeah, you can do that with. I know my <laughs> grandchildren have already asked me to order this in. Ready oh, for have they? Term. Oh, yeah. So perfect. I think I'm going to be busy making more of these, which is good. So. And actually my grandson came the other day and uh, he had a little go and um, just a little bit of supervision because obviously these needles are obviously yeah. really sharp. Um, but he really enjoyed it. He couldn't believe how it stuck to the ball and then it transformed it into something else from this. It's amazing, isn't it? creating Because that. they look fab, don't they? Love them. I mean, yeah. it's just, and it's such a full wreath yeah, as well. That's right. And also as well, what you could do if you didn't want it hanging on the door. I said the other day, but having it as a centerpiece, and you could put a candle, battery operated candle in the oh, middle if you wanted true. to. that's true. Yeah, that would be on lovely. A table yeah. Or something like that. Well, or yeah. on a table, sort of an occasional yeah. table. You, yeah. You, yeah, those big, like they look real, don't they? Yeah. The LED candles. I've got one in my Have bag. you? Oh, go on. Here's one. Just, I've got Here's yeah. one. <laughs> just to give you an idea. I did bring one just in case. Oh, okay. There you are. That fits in there. There you go. Oh, how fab <laughs> is that? Yeah. Oh, and it flickers as well. Look at there that. There you go. Oh, turn the light. Oh, let's make the balls Ooh. flicker. So that would be nice on a table Ooh. runner. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that is lovely, it? isn't that's it? Great. Yeah, I hadn't done that in the dark. There you go. You there need you to go. do that. Thank you very much, Hannah. <laughs> and we have Gorgeous. the other kit we've got coming up later on that I know is the needle felted pumpkins. Mm. Again, that's in a bunting form. But there's no reason why you couldn't have those scattered down the table runner with that in the middle yeah. as well. That's lovely. Or well, particularly, you know, if you... <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, that would be good as well. Oh, that's lovely. Loads of you come in for these. I wonder if it will fit inside. These are fab. No, it fits. going to fit. Look at that. Have you got one of these? These no, are great. I've not seen that before. Well, this is fab. Look, so when oh. you turn it like that, oh, it changes wow. colour. And then lovely. if you turn it like that, so you can use it as a daylight light, like that. Fantastic. So it's not just like as a table thing, but you wow. put that on your bedside table. And then you turn it like that if you want warm light. I have not seen that before. It's fab, Every isn't it? Every day a school day. I know. <laughs> That's lovely. I, it's, like I know, that. I really like this. And it has a handle as well. Fantastic. So a lot of Great people idea. people have them say to take on holiday. You know, if Brilliant. you're crafting on holiday yeah. and you want either daylight. Camping as well. Yeah. Do you craft camping or whatever? Yeah, off yeah. to the toilet in the campsite. <laughs> Florence Nightingale. <laughs> yeah, look at me. It's brilliant. Anyway, back to the wreath. <laughs> Keep that, I like that. Yeah. So now we've worked out how much we want it, how do we make it? Right, okay. 
And I will say they've been very generous with the amount in here. When I first looked at this and I thought, oh, you need that's balls. never going to be enough. Mm. It really is. You get loads. Oh, of so you don't have to be yeah. careful. No, not at all. So, And you can make them in different sizes, which is what I've done. Not all mine are exactly the same size. And I think that adds to looking, you know, the texture mm. of it looks really good, doesn't it? So we've got, this is your little needle felting pad that they've okay. got here in the kit. Is that all right to put there on the Yeah, overhead? we'll do on the overhead yeah, now and there then you go. there you okay. go. So you can see there. Okay. You're in the middle. I'm in the middle. There we go. And um, that comes in the kit, remember? Yeah. That little pad. Yeah. And if you do break a needle, you've got a spare there as well. Um, and basically what you do is obviously one of your balls, you, you would pull a piece of this off. Okay. Like that. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, there's one. <laughs> it's a ball. <laughs> Lovely. And I just wrapped it around like this. And actually what's quite good, when you um, hold it like that, it's like a little ponytail. Right. Because obviously with it being a ball shape, it's easier to hold on to. And then with the needle, oh, I just want to say one thing with the needle as well, with this. Um, when I when I do needle felt in, to hold the needle, um, so you don't have the strain onto your wrist, is some people tend to do this don't mm. do that because that will cause you an, a lot of strain is that mm. i turn that little hook bit there and i turn that inwards and then i hold it like that oh okay yeah, okay and it, it gives you greater control of right the needle so sort of between well. your thumb and two That's fingers right, like that yeah. okay but you know you might find your own own way of um of you know what feels comfortable for you but i'm just saying don't do it that way right because that will make your wrists and arm ache and you just, just do this very gentle stabbing. The end of the needle is only going in about a centimetre. And you just do this, and then you can rotate it. Don't worry if you can see any um, of the white polystyrene underneath, because you will take some more pieces off and um, just gently place them on, and they just attach, you know, with this. So, and you just do that. Try not to do that angle. Not a good idea because obviously that can weaken oh, the needle. Not right. safe either for you. I know if you're making big 3D models, some mm. people might do that. But for what you're doing here, um, this is the best way to okay. do it. And also, you're keeping hold of that needle. So you're just pushing the fibres into yeah, the polystyrene. Into so what you're doing is agitate. It's called agitating the wool. And you are then, actually, the more and more you keep doing it, you're, so as you can see, it's now... Stuck oh, yeah, it's now there, attached. Now attached. Um, here's one I did before, and what I've done here. So as you can see, the white gap on there. Yeah, is that okay for you? You can see that, mm. all right? And then I just gently pulled it across like that. Okay, smoothed it over with the fingers and just gently again stabbed it like that. And you can just rotate it like that. Just keep going. And that's now filled in that white gap. Oh there. wow! Okay, and just keep turning. Yeah, because it looks like you're going to have to cut a bit off. Yeah, but, but you, you don't. don't. You don't. And also, if you feel that you've got too much excess um, of the, you know, wool, if you, as long as you hold this quite firmly, mm. and then you can just literally pull oh, some pieces okay. out like that, so it comes out, you know, as you can see. Right. So if you think you've easily, got too much, yeah which does happen, I, I noticed that when I was doing it. Um, and again, I've got another little bit of white there, so I'm just pulling that across, smoothing it over with my other finger, and just gently stabbing. Great way for stress relief. Yeah, I know, it's great, isn't it? Hurting. So you can't overstab it then? Not really, no. I mean, try not to do it too much, you know, in the, in the same place. And also, when you look at it, and probably can't see it on the TV, but you do get these little stab marks. They do disappear, so don't think, oh, you're going to have that. Oh, okay. all over it. You, you won't see that at all. So we just keep doing that. And I split it into 18 colours of each, but you may want a few more of oh, orange. I see, and yeah. It's entirely up to you, because you've got plenty there so if you don't want to do equal amounts of each of the colors i can assure you there's a you know a lot there okay to play around with i made that little brooch with a bit of leftovers oh, nice. as well so <laughs> yeah so i thought i won't waste it so you know you've loads got... of you coming in for this now so we've got oh, loads so and loads in your basket so you do need to get it checked out 
as you can see it's just so easy and lovely to do with children or grandchildren it's something you can get out like you were saying Bex earlier mm. year after year yeah you know um and if you wanted to no reason why you couldn't add some other yeah no that. that's true you could or add some little adornments or if you wanted mm. to make it halloween you could put some plastic spiders on or whatever yeah no that's true do. and it's a lovely or thing to leaves. have well we yeah. have christmas decorations don't we yeah. so it's nice to have things for other times yeah. of the year as well my so we've only got a couple of minutes left now because we've got to okay. move on to the other kits. Okay, right, so that's basically that's basically it. So you just keep smoothing it over, keep doing these little stabs till you've got it all over, really. What's nice about this one is quite, would you say fibrous would be yeah, the right word? Yeah, yes. So it, it's more, it's got some texture to it. Well, it's lovely. It's nice. It does look like, because you can buy sort of pom-poms and balls, yes. but this really does look like you've made yes it. it's I think beautiful so. it's lovely so if you want the kit for everything that's in it so basically you cover all of the balls and yep, then you stick them to right. wrap the yep. felt around the ring yeah yeah and then stick it all together listen there one little tip i will say um it's on the instructions here is that can it be seen by tilting yeah, like no. that? or okay? just turn it around turn and then we'll around. go overhead oh, yeah. okay there you go okay. so there we go. as you can see it's showing you here so that's picture 15 you've got here when you come to glue it, start with the balls on the inside of the ring that's down here. Oh, we're down there. There. That makes it easy. And then you build your layers uh, up. Oh, okay. That's just a little tip. Right. You know, and I mean, if you wanted to have a go at making some of your own without the polystyrene or anything else, you can always do some more around there. It's entirely yeah, that's up true. to you. But that is a lovely, complete oh, well, gift, fab. isn't it? It's all there for you. That's but, lovely. Right, I'm going to go back with this and we're going to get the next kit. Okay. Take my light with me. So this is the wreath needle felting kit. Everything you need by the glue, ever, ever, that, everything else to make this gorgeous autumny, could be Halloween, beautiful, beautiful wreath. Lovely gift, lovely thing to make with people as well. And it's lovely, isn't it? Because all the polystyrene is covered, even the back of it is covered. So it really has that beautiful handmade feel, absolutely ideal. So 19.99 for that. All the balls are rolling around now. Right. Now the little light, which I showed you earlier, this is a fab light because it's got a little carrying handle. So this is the um, warm, it's from, it's from Native Lighting, it's called the reverse lamp. So this is the warm light and then all you do is turn it over. So maybe you doing crafting in the evening, particularly now that nights are drawing in, put that on your craft beside you. Or if you're going away on holiday or you want to have it as a bedside light and you want to be able to see better. And then if you want a nice warm light, just turn it upside down. Oh, and then it just turns on by just pressing it. Oh, it's rechargeable as well, isn't it? And it comes with that and it holds the charge for ages. There we go, I'll just turn it back on. And it fits beautifully in the wreath. Oh, I think I need to... Oh, you could, that's right, because you can increase the intensity. So you can have warm or daylight, and you can have different intensities if you just tap it. What a great idea. That's fab, isn't it? Oh, I love that. I've never seen it before. It's, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, isn't it? Daylight and it's, um, <laughs> it's LED, so it's not hot at all. But it's ideal for a bedside light or yeah. for your work, or just as an ornament, to be honest. And also for children mm. as well that might be a little bit scared of the dark. Or the yeah, it'd be light. lovely. You could have yeah. that in the corner, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. 63.99. Right. Anyway, do check out on that. I'll leave that in the corner. Right. And the split pay available on that, if you if you see on screen, there's that split into two equal payments. Um, which one? Ribbons. Let's just talk about the ribbons. So we've actually got some gorgeous Halloween ribbons here. So in this pack, there are six two meter lengths. So we've got the purple one that's got pumpkins. So you get all of these in the pack for 13.49. You get the purple one with pumpkins. You get an orange one with um, black stars, a black one with pumpkins. Look at these striped ones here, yeah, a bit tulip pink. They remind me of witches tights. Yeah. You've got a green stripey one, an orange stripey one, and then you've got the orange one with ghosts and boo on it. So all of those 1349, they're all two meters in length. So all look like this. So they're ideal for, oh, that's meters, isn't it? But they go all up there. I was like, and I was thinking that doesn't look like two meters. I thought maybe my arms are grown. <laughs> so ideal for your Halloween themed um, makes. If you've, 
Um, you maybe you've made like little gift bags, trick or treat bags. You could use these as the drawstring, or if you could sew them onto a cushion to decorate something, or you could even make a little wreath with them. I did these as well. Or maybe you just want to be Halloween all year round. So there we go. Right, pumpkins on a string. Right, I've got two examples of this. So that's just half but you'll actually get enough to make eight pumpkins. So we have only got half of them here, just because it's easy to show you. So this kit will make eight needle felted pumpkins. So should we take it over? Right, hang on. Where is it? There we go. I'm coming over. <laughs> there we go, there's the kit. So, these are, there's four of them here, and then we've got the other four just hung up behind me. Aren't they lovely? So what do we get in this kit then? Everything you need Everything again, again Everything. bar the glue. But with, actually, I didn't use any glue. Oh, on this. you don't even need glue don't with this one. So this really one. is everything then? Yes, definitely. So once again, you've got another of the little pads inside. Your two needles are pushed in the side there for safety. You've got eight of these. Eight pumpkin, eight, eight pumpkins. polystyrene pumpkins. There you go. You've got those. You've got the string, which oh. is about two meters, and that's nice. It's like proper stringy yeah, string, nice isn't jute, it? Like Duty jute string, isn't it? Like very yeah. rustic pumpkin string. Yeah. So you've got that as well. Um, you've got. So excuse me. So that's for your tops there. More so than that's again a, more than enough. All right, so I that's for the, pump, you. the pumpkin stalks. Yeah, the pumpkin stalks there. Then you've got the large amount. Look at this. Loads of orange. Oh, absolutely, ton. and again, there'll be loads left over. Right. As well for you. So you've got that, and again, instructions inside. Shall I put Brilliant. Yes, yeah, I'll have the polystyrene so pumpkins. The instructions. Twelve little photographs there. There is in this top corner some instructions in English. Oh yeah, just pop it down there. there. Yeah, so there you go. It's there all go. there for you. And then there's a, some instructions as well on the back That's as well. Yeah. So yeah. how do we do this one then? Right, so I've got this here. So what I did, first of all, it says on the instructions, so I've prized some of this apart. You don't need very much in actual fact. About that amount there, yeah. And you need to put some of this I sort of folded it in a little bit and I put it top and bottom of here and the reason being as it says on the instructions when you come to put your I've got one here you put your pieces on the side um, this helps to adhere the you know to the wall top and bottom oh so that's the just the tops yeah. and the bottoms yeah. right because um because I, I just find it, it well it does say that on the mm. instructions but it is easier i've done it top and bottom on here so again the same the same thing um you know i sat it down that way that's the larger part mm. there um so that's supposed to be the top but in actual fact i did make one up the other way to start oh, okay. with and i don't think it matters because you do get pumpkins in different sort of yeah, sizes. Yeah, and I guess and by the time things. you covered it in all the wool, yeah. it makes them a little honest, bit different no, as well. Yeah. So don't worry if you do. You think you've done one upside down. It, it really doesn't matter once you put your stalk on. So I'm sort of working on the top area here to get this to adhere to the polystyrene. And again, you can just pull some of that round a little bit. Do watch your fingers with this. I just think it's very therapeutic. Mm, it's lovely, isn't thing. it? Yeah, it really is. And I guess because you've got eight of them, you get better and better. Yeah, you, you do. You do. <laughs> and then you put some more onto the bottom mm -hmm. as well. So you've got that. And as you can see in here, you've got these little grooves um, in the top. So when you come to do this part where you're doing your sections, and I'll come on to that shortly. Do that over. So there, yeah, is that okay? No, no, no. Oh, that way. <laughs> there we go. Good there. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. You you know, you can use your finger at the top and it'll give you a guide as oh, to okay. where you need to put those lines into your pumpkin. Right. But again, you can do as many as you want. That's just a guide. If you want mm. to divide that 
into another section, you can. It's right. And you can, it's nice to make each one slightly different yeah. as well. Yeah. Be a Which bit more realistic. I did do five on some and then I thought, I've done six on that oh. one and seven on another. <laughs> so I don't think it really matters, you know, what you want to do. So I put top and bottom on there and then I took a piece of this again. So you just prise it apart like that. Okay. And then I put that and I just laid it across there. And don't worry if you've got a little bit of excess here, that's fine because you'll come to knit that right, into the okay. bottom if you see. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just hold that there like that. And I smoothed it out a little bit and I found that better as well, getting a smoother, you know, a smoother finish to it. And again, um, just keep going cross like that don't worry about the sort of segments of the pumpkin at this stage you're just trying to cover it all over oh I guess but by covering it in long yeah. strands like that you get the dividing yeah, section that's it so I did it I found it easier to do it this way um, and also you know like I say if you get any white bits like there's a slight bit there well you just pull a little bit of this off and you would just lay that on like oh, so. And then stab it into place. And then stab it into place. There's no gluing involved whatsoever. So again, this is brilliant because this is a complete kit. Yeah, Everything absolutely. you're gonna get. So just $15.99 and you get to make eight pumpkins. Yeah, and you, all you'll need is your pair of scissors if you wanted to cut that jute string any shorter. The reason why I cut it like that was when we came to photograph it, as you can see on the screen mm. it fitted on the screen better that way but as i was saying earlier bex you you don't have to hang it up you don't want to use put them all in a bowl together so you will get all of those like that you'll get all eight of them yeah. if you can see vaguely yeah <laughs> we just cut them in half because it's easy to show you yeah. but you will get enough to make eight and then again that's a garland that you can bring out year after yes. year what you could do is get some of those led fairy lights oh yeah lovely and um those copper wire lights and attach them along the top as well Great idea. look really lovely yeah, wouldn't they like that. so whether it's halloween themed or whether you're going autumn it's just gorgeous isn't it yeah, lovely tasteful I mean, I could do snowballs yes <laughs> it is <laughs> a tasteful you. decoration i, I think, think it's gorgeous lovely. yeah Brilliant. So that's just fifteen ninety nine. Right. Shall we move on to the the next one? Yep. Right. Let me take my kit back with me. Okay. Well, I'll put all those bits in in a minute. Yep. Please do check out on these because they are flying out. Unsurprisingly, I think they're a fantastic price for a complete kit, particularly if you're a beginner to this and you haven't got or any materials or any tools at all, and you just think, do you know what? I'd really like to do that. I've got a couple of evenings free or a rainy afternoon. Perfect. Right, now how do you fancy making a pumpkin? Now we've got two. These have been really popular on pre-order. And they are a lot bigger than I thought. So there's two, they're both pumpkins. Now this is a flannelette type fleece. We're gonna start with this one. So you can see the size of it here. Um, it's like a, well, it's like a brushed cotton fleecy fabric. Really squishy, it's got the, um, the leaf, it's got the stalk, and again, everything you need is in here. And it's all hand sewing. So this is perfect for sitting in front of the telly or working with someone else who maybe is new to sewing and thinks, oh, I've always liked to make something. And what a lovely um, decoration. You could even fill it with um, heavier filling and it could be a doorstop. But it'd be lovely in the centre of your table. So that's the fleecy one. Now, this is the kit for it. $13.99, this is the kit, and you get, honestly, everything. There's nothing else that you will need. It's got the whole lot in it. Um, and cl full clear instructions, and Jan's gonna show us in a moment. So that's the, the well, it's called flannelette, but it's sort of a flannelette fleecy fabric. Um, then the other one, and it's completely handsome. No sewing machine needed. And then, this is the other one. I love the color of this. This is the velour one. But it's just got the stalk, but it's a real goldy, orangey fleece. Um, velour. Beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it's the same size as the other one. Look, as you can see, they're the same size. Make a nice pair, actually. And then this is the kit for it. 
So again, you get everything. You get the filling, you get the velour, you get the felt, you get the needles, you get the thread, and that's everything to make the velour. Again, $13.99. So it just depends which you like. Or if you fancy a little decoration of them, you could have, have both of them. Right, let me go back over to Jan. I'll take my pumpkins. Right, let's start off with the fleece one. So let's have a look at what's inside. So again, a very nice gifting because the box in yeah, itself is a lovely gift to buy someone. Sorry, I haven't that one to apologise. Again, all you need with this one is a pair of scissors for this kit. No glue, <laughs> all hand sewing. <laughs> so there's your two packets of filling which are obviously vacuum packed. Right, okay, and that's enough to fill the whole thing. It really is, and when right. you open it, it expands and pops oh, out. Oh, okay. It's more than enough um, to fill. So that's all the filling. Well, that's great, because yeah. it all fits in the box. Definitely, so that's really good. Mm. And then you've got Yeah, the, I thought there'd great be a big bag of it. You've got the instructions. Now, what I love about this as well, is it wrong, wrong way round, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You're just... This is all pre-cut. Oh, so no so template needed. No template, no measuring, all the little notches, everything's cut out for you. That's the main pumpkin there. Mm. And then here, you've got the two fabric leaves, again, in the same flannelette sort of um, fleece, fleece fabric. Yeah. And the same with the stalk as well there. And it tells you here, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do each section on there so that's really good okay so, so let's have a yeah. look at okay. we have a look so these are all the fabric pieces because so i want to see the kind of pre-cutness yeah that's why I, I loved about it because you know that would take a while if you had to hand measure oh it would that so out, you've got it? two needles two needles and they're putting a piece of foam for safety so and then we've got orange sewing. thread yep. green and brown yeah so look at the there's the stalks already cut out yeah and the leaves I know, and the thing is, unless you, you know, unless you've got all your collecting fabrics and felts, you might not have the green and the brown mm. and then the orange. Especially if you want just a small amount as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly, but yeah. the fact that it's pre-cut. Yeah. See, what I'm thinking, probably shouldn't say this, but before you make it, you could make a little pattern of that, couldn't you? You could. Because it would look nice in, like, ginghams. Oh, yeah, wouldn't definitely. It? So yeah. you, could use, you could use this, yeah. make it, work it out, right, yeah. make your pattern, and then you could make loads of them, Absolutely. couldn't you? So if you're thinking $13.99, you've got all the materials mm. and the pattern, yeah. which is really good value. Yeah. So just sort of draw around it. Um, and again, these are easy to obtain, aren't they? Yes. Embroidery threads. To get for $13.99, to get all the materials and a pattern. Mm. Definitely. And then you could have loads of them. Oh, yeah. Well, I will be. Yes. Yes. Gorgeous. <laughs> so where do we start? We've opened it all out. What yeah, do we do okay. first? So if I just move that. Yeah, I'll move that. I'll put that back that. in my box. So what you will do, because I, I pre-did um, this one to help a little bit with, with time as well. There are just three stitches involved. So you've got your overlap, or they call it hidden stitch, which is to put all these, um, actually I will use that as well, sorry. So it's um, like a ladder stitch yeah. or a slip so stitch. So what you're doing is you're joining each of these little Oh, so they're pumpkin together. darts. Pumpkin darts, that's pumpkin right. Darts. Pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin darts. Pumpkin darts. <laughs> so you will just overlap that stitch or hidden stitch along there. So you do that all the way along both sides. And there is a little stitch guide in the instructions as yeah. well. Yeah, so it, it tells you on there what to do. Um, and then when I did that, I then so I then took the two ends there, okay, and then with that one, let's see where it is. That one I did. You call it back stitch. Yeah, back stitch. yeah. So do back stitch. So where this notch comes in here, there. So from that edge all the way along there, you will do your back stitch. Because obviously when you put the filling in, you need those stitches to be tied right, together okay. for when the filling goes in. So you do that section. So this is something if you did want to pop it under the machine, you could yeah, sew that of course you if can. you wanted course to. You so can. it can be done yeah. by hand, but if you wanted to put it under machine, you could do. what a great way to start children off yeah, with sewing brilliant. with three basic mm, stitches you know, yeah. that's involved. And then the other one. A nice little, look, just a pleasant oh, sewing afternoon, oh, I just, isn't I it? Did, I, again, I sat in front of the telly and did this, mm. so it's great. So I've sewn all the way along the bottom there. And then here, you do need to knot at the one end, this here look, you need to make your knot because to gather all of your 
darts in together, your pumpkin darts, as we like to call mm. it. And then you obviously will pull that. Oh, okay. I see. And then when you turn it through this way, okay, so I've sort of should have the needle back in there, but you pull it through, pull it through tight, and then when you come in, you will sew all that up together. Oh, okay. You probably so you need can the see, bigger like, needle. So you can see here yeah. where it's all sewn together. But it looks neat. Yeah. Because the fabric sort of absorbs yes, the stitches, that's doesn't right. it? So that's they don't right. show up. And you've got two different size needles in the pack as well. One for your general sewing, mm. and then when you come to knit this area together, to close it all up, you will need that thicker, that bigger eye needle, okay. which is more like your embroidery yeah. tapestry needle, isn't it? Okay, and then you would put all your filling in. Obviously, you've done the same top and bottom on this, and then you that would all gather in the same. So imagine that's all gathered in, and then you would do your stitches in the top. And then what I did here, when I made earlier, is I did running stitch with this. Obviously, you put your two, the, the right side of the fabric in together there and I've left a gap there you don't need to stuff this at all so oh, I just okay. used a pen or a knitting needle to push that through right so you just push that all the way through there. I like the fact it's double-sided though it yes. makes it really tactile yeah, it doesn't does, it definitely you just push that through oh, you've got the right you can do it with your finger anyway and you can use the end of your needle or the end of your scissors um, to push it through and then you would just overlap that and then attach that to the top okay and then the same with the um, stalk do the wrong the right side of the fabrics together um, which I've done there as you can see I've sewn all the way around and then just put a little bit of your filling mm. inside oh yeah because that's yeah a bit, turn around the right way stalk. put your foot in and then again you just do a few of your mm. overlap stitches to attach it to the top of the pumpkin. So if you did want to fill it with something heavier, um, when you yeah. fill it, you could do that then, and then it's a rice little Rice people use, don't they? Yeah. Put rice into a plastic bag. Yes. And make it heavier or sand mm. as well. You can use or we, that or you can sand. get, um, we do little pellets, little oh, do you? With plastic pellets as well. Yeah, They're quite good. Yeah, you can do good. that. Yeah. Perfect. So you want to do. And it I guess nice the, um, the velour one, Exactly we'll have, the same, yeah, exactly let's have a look same, and see yeah, what's actually in the kit for this one. The um, the flannelette one is the most popular one, so if you want that one, you need to get checked out. Oh yeah, and remember with these that if you draw around it before you make it onto a piece of paper, <laughs> you've got a pattern forever. I'm thinking gingham, oh, orange yeah. gingham. Yeah. Or spotty. Could you do panels with that jelly roll? You could, you could. Wouldn't that look nice that would look fantastic. With, that, with that design with roll? That, you could sew it? them all together. Yeah. In fact, you can make hundreds with that jelly Gosh, roll. Yeah. Top tip. Top tip. Don't tell anyone <laughs> I said that. <laughs> no, no, you won't do that. You'll buy lots of, lots of them. So again, you've got... Yeah, we're just going to quickly show the contents yeah. of this. I know it does show on this one that there's leaves. There isn't actually leaves in this one. Right. But there's no reason why you, could, you I'm sure you've all got some um, green felt or whatever colour in your stash. Okay. And you could just draw, make your own make your template and make So your what own do we thing. get in this? So, so we get the filling. Again, two, two bags of the filling again. Okay. So you've got all that as well. And then the fabric. And then again. So it's a nice gold. I love it. Goldy orange colour, isn't yeah. it? And again, you could put a bow on that, couldn't you? Or you could make a bow out mm. of your jelly roll or use those Halloween ribbons that we've got. You know, you could do either with it. So again, you've got your two needles and they're putting a little piece of foam for safety. Okay. Mm. You've got your orange and your brown embroidery threads there as well. Then you've got your stalk, which has obviously been pre-cut on a machine. Again, you can use that as a template, mm. can't you, as well? And it's on the instructions. And then, uh, once again, you've got your... Free pattern. Yeah. There's there. Shh. <laughs> so there you are. That's the right side of the fabric, and that's the reverse. So it's lovely, it's so soft, isn't it? Yeah, like a gold. But the gold, color. it's a lovely shade because it's yeah. a real, like an autumn leaf shade. Definitely. I mean, you do get pumpkins in this colour, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you do. You get them in all sorts of colours, don't you? Mm. But, you know, I mean, if you had to do that by hand, that would be some precision 
cutting and what have you would be a bit yeah of fat. so it's quite nice that it's all yeah. cut so it makes yeah. it ideal for beginners quick make yeah definitely. Um, as a lovely gift yes. for somebody as well yeah yeah. Fab. Yeah. So again, um, exactly the same principle. And it's made in the same way. I did with that one, yeah. Just the leaf, that's all that's not. And then we'll just go way. through the ribbons again. Now, there's no kit or anything. These are just ribbons. So what would you use these for if you had them? Well, I do a lot of cake decorating. Right. So they are perfect for trimming the oh, edge of the okay. board and around the base of the cake mm -hmm. as well. I did make my granddaughters, I know are going to love these, with the barrack clip on the back. And I made some little hair bows. Oh, nice! There you go for Halloween. Gorgeous. So there you are. There's three of those there. You remember, you get two meters of each of these. One, two, three, four, six yeah. different ribbons. Yeah. Two meters of each. And two different widths, widths on yeah. it, isn't it as well? Yeah. And then I just did just as a quick thing. Now my grandson is very reluctant, Albie, to actually put on a dressing up outfit. Mm. Some children don't like it. So all I did just as a quick thing was I got a plain black t-shirt and I, oh, just, fab. I just took the, the ribbon off. I, I admit that I did use a wonder web, mm. other makes are available, available. <laughs> um, to stick it on just for speed really, for, yeah. for me, um, I didn't have time to sort of sew, but you know, he'll love yeah. to wear that. I might actually put Boo, I got the inspiration from this here and I might actually fabric paint uh, Boom. one of those ghosts on that's and, brilliant and the well thank you john there. that's been fab and yeah. well you. done that's your first sewing street oh, appearance done. Yeah. That flew it by. wasn't that bad oh, was it no it wasn't it was <laughs> lovely it was lovely. well thank you so well. much you thank obviously you. you know so much about this it's been really yeah. helpful thank having you. somebody who's an expert <laughs> and showing us what thank to you do thank you much for having me oh it's been a pleasure i'm sure we will see you soon i'm gonna take my take my pumpkins back please do now, do check out on those ribbons. Remember, thirteen forty nine, and you get two meters of each of those designs. There's six different ones, and there's two different widths as well. And those are all the ones there in the picture. Those are all the designs you'll get. Yeah. Right. The, so don't forget the pumpkins, um, the pumpkin wreath. Oh, this one, the wreath. Oh, this one <laughs> really confused me. It's so echoey, I'm getting funny words. The one that's the fleecy flannelette pumpkin, which is this one here. This is the most popular kilt kit. You get quilt? Where did I get that from? Kit is the most popular kit, and this is, I've got everything that you need in it. Comes with free pattern as well. Amazing for $13.99. Then we have the um, velour one. Goldy colours, beautiful soft velour. Again, everything you need to make it and comes with free pattern. Please do check out these. These are incredibly popular. If you've got it in your basket, you do need to check out. Then we have the um, gorgeous needle felted wreath with 54 polystyrene balls. Isn't this gorgeous? Again, perfect for beginners or if you know all about needle felting already it'll be a really quick and easy make for you um, you could use it to hang on a door or you could put a light in it like this one these are brilliant for these type of things look at that this is um the native lighting reverse lamp just 63.99 you can have daylight or do 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 Saves you putting a candle in there, really, and you can um, make it brighter or dimmer just by tapping it. And it's got a carry handle as well. It's ideal for this. Perfect. Um, don't forget the split pay available, zero interest, um, three equal payments of £21.33. So there's no interest at all. So if you just want to pay the £21.33 today, then you'll get the whole, um, you'll get it sent to you. And then um, you pay the other two payments later. I like that. Wouldn't that be nice in the evening as well? Just have it, you know, if you've got even got a little corner that's a little bit dark, it'd be ideal. And it's just, it comes with um, a cable because it's rechargeable. We've only got single figures of this one available. I like the fact it has a little handle as well. We know lots of people who've bought them for offices. Well done. 
Oh yeah, no, Vic's had one in Maisie's nursery because it's just, because you can change the um, intensity of the light as well. If you just want something as a very um, night light, just a gentle glow. But again, I think because it's got the daylight section, I think that's great if you're crafting. Just have that extra bit of light next to you. Anyway, 63.99. And finally, the pumpkin pumpkin on string. Now, this is just four of them. In your kit, you will get enough to make eight. That's just four. And everything you need is in the kit for this. The polystyrene shapes and the felting wool and the string as well. And finally, finally, before we finish. Oh, oh yes, and the needles as well. Is it, We've got a little, a little bundle of felt as well six sheets and it's half price basically 294 wow that's the size of the sheet so you get a green one you get white black red purple and orange so maybe you want to add some extra leaves to your pumpkin or you want to do other sort of autumn halloween theme makes and you just want small sheets of felt really nice felt half price 294 that's brilliant isn't it absolutely excellent Right, well, thank you for joining me for this hour. Um, we're going to go for a short break while we move all the pumpkins out of the way. I'll be back in a few minutes' time with you with um, Becky Alexander-Frost, who is with her back in stock, sold out, totally flew out last time, the Mika purse. We've got all of the haberdashery for it and the complete kits, and we've got Becky too to show you how to make it. So I'll see you back here in a few minutes' time. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, 
click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Welcome back to Stone Street. Oh, sorry we had a slightly longer break, but we had to sort out the echo, which amazing, it seems to have disappeared, thank goodness. I was going to go mad. I thought that there were two of me all for a whole hour. It was just too much. Anyway, anyway, we're all sorted now. So we've got Becky. Hello, hello Becky. Hi. Hello, hi. Becky is back in stock. <laughs> <laughs> two Becky's back yeah. in stock. Ray, <laughs> back in stock. <laughs> and so is her purse. <laughs> I'm going to show you around the purse first before I show you the kits. Now, this is the sold out Mika purse. So it has a lovely flap with a magnetic clasp, obviously. And you can get so much in here. You've got a zip pocket in the center, you see? There we go. And then you've got flaps and pockets. How many pockets has this got? Um, it's got the zip compartment yeah. and then it's got the card slots. But then, then there's a, but then there's an extra pocket inside yeah, the card slots. Yeah, it's for your notes at the back and then you can fit your mobile phones in Oh, of as course. Well. Oh, yeah, should we see if Kat's mobile phone will fit in it? Oh, nice. It's got money in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got cash and everything in it. <laughs> so... So you've got so you've got two lots of credit card slots and then you've got pockets that you can put your phone in or you can put your cash in. You've got a zip one in the big So you this would be quite good, well, as a person your handbag, but it's like a little clutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, you know when yeah. you're going out and you just don't want a, the whole you could get your keys and your lipstick yeah, you can and put everything. A wristlet on it as well, yeah. so a little mini D ring. Now that's the grunge colourway, so that's what it looks like. So let me start with this bundle. Now this is just Bam. Remember, this is previously sold out. So you get all the instructions. I'm going to go through the instructions with Becky in a moment. Um, <laughs> when she's finished breaking the sewing machine. No, it's fine. It's shuddering. Yeah. The sewing machine is shuddering. Um, so I'll go through the instructions in a moment with you so you can see, because everything is in there. And it's all got pattern pieces as well. So I'll go through those in a moment, but it has got all the pattern piece instructions. And then this is the fabric panel, which has got all the pieces. That is gorgeous. Look at that. I like this gr grunge. And me. Reminds me of Tim Holtz. It is a bit Tim Holtz, isn't it? Yeah. So is this one of your sort of favourite kind of colourways? Rainbow anything. Yeah. Rainbow anything. Yeah. Really? I'm just a happy person. <laughs> just a happy <laughs> rainbow person, whether it's grunge or anything. No, I do like texture um, to any fabric. So I like mode of grunge and stuff like that. Right, so, okay. Yeah. But Amy did a really good job on that. It's brilliant, isn't it? Because it feels, I mean, it's plain cotton, 100% cotton fabric, but it feels like it has texture on it. it just because of the way that it's printed, it's wonderful. And that's all the pieces that you need. Yeah, yeah. It's quite simple. And then this little rainbow, so because most of it is purpley, but then this rainbow, is that the wallet, the credit card bits? Yeah. So you've got, you can't see on there, can you? So you've got the rainbowy bit there, and then that is the bit that's inside. Can you see? See that? In fact, to be honest, as Hannah said, you could keep your, use your own fabric and keep that little bit for yourself. Yeah, you could, yeah. Couldn't you? Yeah. For something else. It's even got, I like the fact it's got a label this belongs to. This belongs to me. Do not take anything <laughs> out of it. Right, quarter of the new stock has gone because we sold out completely. So if you want this one, I'm going to go, Becky's going to be showing us in a moment exactly how it all works and what all the pieces are for. I want to get through all the kits, so I'm not going to go into that detail. But you also get, you get the magnetic clasp. So so you ha it has got the male and the female bits and the um, the washer thing. The washer thing. Yeah, what's it called? What's Washers. It called? Yeah, there is an, uh, the, backing there is the backing plate or something, yeah. washer thing. So it, that's all you need. And I like these clasps because they're quite they're, um, thin ones. 
So they don't have too much bulk? Yeah, I asked for thin ones. They're nice, aren't they? got some really chunky ones before and they'd stick out. Yeah, no, I like it. these. So you all that. Now, you will need other materials for this, which is Dacaville. Yeah. And interface. We'll go through that in a minute because I want to talk to Becky so she can explain to us what's it for. Right, when everyone has checked out, half of the grunge colourway has gone. So if you've got it in your basket, you need to get checked out. But we've also got it available in two other colourways as well. So which one should we do first? Does it matter? Coral? I think this one's coral. Now remember, in, in all of these, obviously you get the pattern, you get the magnetic clasps. Now this is the coral colourway. Oh, this is very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So the, you can see at the bottom, that's, the, that's what the outside of the purse will look like, as you can see all the shapes. And then the inside, that's very pretty. So again, you know, it's a lovely thing to have in your handbag, but also nice as a little clutch as well. That's so pretty. So that's the Ditsy Coral. Look at the price, $24.99. That's amazing. So is the, has the pattern got all the pattern pieces in it yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there is a few pattern pieces where you have to stick together. And I'll so through that. when you buy the kit, you can then make another one? Yeah, yeah. Fab. Um, I have um, a policy where I say you can make to sell. Right, oh, as so, well, oh, brilliant. Yeah, so as long as you're not doing it mass production. Yeah, it's not, as long as we're not going factory production, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but small fate. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Especially because your magnetic snaps are quite cheap. So you can yeah, that's quite true. A those now. So that's great. So once you've got the kit, whichever colourway you get, you've then got the pattern so you can make more of them because what a brilliant gift. You know, with Christmas coming up and you think, don't know what I'm going to buy someone who wouldn't want this, just choose their favourite fabric. Yeah. Nice in um, velvet. Mm. Mm. I'd like you that. You can nothing. even do it in PU, but oh, you, you would have to um, stabilise the PU to stop it from stretching. Right, but all sorts. Yeah. Um, so that's the that's the coral one, and then the final one, because this is this one here. Let me show you. This is the sample of it. This is the. Um, grey, ditzy grey, so it's got this lovely grey blueprint on the outside um, and then on the inside there's the pockets which are in sort of a paler colour, beautiful isn't it, that is really pretty, classic that one. I'll show you the panel, again you get the pattern in your mag magnetic glass, so there's the panel but it's lovely because it's all very um, coordinated so the outside coordinates beautifully with the inside but they're different just because that's lovely. So with the panel, that means you don't have to use the pan pieces? No, no, no. But you the do pan... need to cut them out though at one point because they've got um, placement marks. Right, but you don't actually have to use the pan no. pieces, but the pan pieces are in the pan. Yeah. Confusingly. Right, so those are all the kits. And obviously you get the panel, the pattern, and these very thin magnetic clasps as well with them. Um, now, if you want the pattern on its own, <coughs> we do have those as well. But half of the stock has gone just saying. £13.50, you get all the pattern pieces, you get all the instructions, so you can make them forever and ever and ever. That's a great price. When you think of the time that's gone into this. Once mm. you've made one, they get quicker and quicker as can, well. Yes, but the time that you've put into making this, <laughs> yeah. I think that's an absolute bargain. The time Because Becky's had to do all the working out. That's the worst bit. Yeah, there's six or seven attempts. <laughs> um, we'll go through it in a minute. Let me just do the magnetic class because these are special. Because they're like skinny, skinny. So we do them in silver and gold. Oh, I've got, I've got gold here. I think the silver was, was the kit. So this gold, I do have silver because I could use that one. So obviously you get, the, it's this just one, but obviously you need two halves. You've got the female bit, the male bit. They've actually got little patterns on them as well. I haven't seen these before. But most magnetic clasps are a little bit thicker than this, but these skinny ones, they're absolutely, can you see, ideal for purses because they're much more discreet. Obviously you could use them on lots and lots of other things. If you want a magnetic clasp that's just a little skinnier where you don't want the bulk of it to show up, these are perfect and only $1.99. So if you're making lots of these, if you've bought the pattern or if you've got the kit and you want to make more, you'll need obviously just one of these per purse, but they're only $1.99 and they come with the back plates as well. So that's gold. And then if you want silver, the silver is the one that comes in the kit, but if you want to buy it separately, we have that as well. 
I do like the fact I haven't the normal the thicker ones don't have these little patterns on. No, they don't. No. These are good. Can you see? Look. That's a grip. So oh, does that make it grip? I it always open see. It, up. it looks like tumbling blocks. That pattern. It does. Oh, so it's grip, but it's decorative grip. Mm -hmm. Not just any grip. <laughs> decorative grip and obviously it comes with the back plates as well so just 199 so i would get some of these so i'm sure i always i always get have a little stash of these but loads of you multi-buying but i've never had um i haven't got any of the skinny ones no i haven't no. i might have to put a couple of these in my pocket <laughs> they're on the floor yeah it's on the been on the floor now can't sell it it's been on the floor <laughs> right Zips on the roll. This is one of my favourite things because this is a really, really economical way of buying zips. Now, for the purse, you will need a zip if you want a zip pocket. So this is where you will need a zip. You will need a 20 centimetre zip and we do have some 20 centimetre zips available. But if you want to buy, if you want to keep it um, economical, we've got three different colours. We've got black, white and cream. Now, these are fab oh now we're going for a price here where you get all of them all three packs but one of them is free 15.99 now if you now these are this the way that you buy zips you either buy zips where they they're like this so they're specially sealed at the ends either opened end or closed end but of a specific length and if you need it shorter obviously you lose a lot of zip but you can also buy continuous zips. So it's just one long length of zip tape and then you buy sliders that you can slide on. But the genius of these is the sliders are already on. So it's a continuous zip because um, <coughs> putting the sliders on is not always the quickest and easiest of tasks. Sometimes it takes seconds, sometimes it takes hours. Quarter of the stock is gone. But these have got the sliders already on them. So what you do is you work out how much length you want you move the zip slider up, you cut what you want, you've still got the others on there. So each roll has got five, there's five meters of zip on this roll. And I think there's 10 sliders. There are, there are 10 sliders and five meters in zip. Um, you'll get in this bundle, look at that. So you're getting 15 meters of zip for black, white and cream. So there's the white one and then they come in different. So you've got a black one and a cream and you're only paying for two of them. So you are getting 15 meters of zip, 15 meters of zip with all the sliders already attached. Don't forget to move your slider before you cut it. Already attached for just 15.98. So I always have loads of it. This is great. Half of the stock is gone. So I do, um, I mean, I do buy continuous zip, but I open the sliders on, really hate it. I find number threes, which are those, are the hardest. Yeah, and then I'll find number fives. I can do easier. number fives. Can yeah. do that. Number threes. No. <laughs> and I've watched many a YouTube. <laughs> Still difficult, isn't it? So you don't have to bother with this. Look at that. So that is an amazing bargain. Buy two, get one free. If you do a lot of bag making or anything, then they are fab. Fewer than twenty of this bundle left, so do get them checked out. Um, right. Deckerville. Now, this is a big sheet, I know, I know, <laughs> but it's very, very useful. So, Becky, tell me what is Deckerville for? What is it, even, it's to as make the expert the bag, bag maker? To make the bag have structure. So, if you've got like a base, um, a flat base, you need to put some on that so it basically doesn't topple over. Right. And on this, it's given it the structure so it doesn't collapse. Does it sew in or does it iron on? It irons on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, it's like. Um, it's like leather. Yeah, that's uh, it's classed as part of like a leather construction. Right. Yeah. Well, it feel yeah, it has that sort of feeling. So it's brilliant for structure. Even if you yeah. did like storage baskets or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Right. I've always got it at home in the moustache. So you will need. I mean, you won't need a whole meter, <laughs> obviously, but that's fine because you have it left over. Um. Right. You also need iron-on interfacing. So we've got packs of that if you have we're just going through all of it then we can just concentrate on the demo you will need a pack of iron on the interfacing as well so if you haven't got any what is the, is this for the pockets this is um generally for everything just generally yeah this is generally for everything in the whole purse so you'll need you know a pack me. of this 
Just facing. Yeah. I just love it. Queen of interfacing. <laughs> That's why I was asking you about the, the Decaville. Right. Can we move on to the demo now, Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> I'll move over. I'm going to bring my purses with me. There's another one gone. Right. Okay. I'll bring my purses with me. Hello. So, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so, with the, um, if we're doing the kit, Yep. You don't need the pattern pieces. You don't need the pattern pieces, apart from we've got some um, markings oh, that we okay. need to put onto the actual pattern. But if you've put the pattern on its own, yeah. then it's so you've got both? You've got both. You get everything. There's only two pieces that you have to stick together, and it basically tells you join it to A to B. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and you get all the other pieces as well. Why is it called the Mika wallet? Okay, so it's a mashup between the start of Michael's name, which is my husband, mm. and it's the end of Rebecca. Okay. Is that so you can have one each? Yeah. I thought no. it was going to be Mika the singer. No, oh. no, no. I do like Mika the singer, actually. Very it's very good. <laughs> okay. Right, so the Decafil is actually used in several places. Um, so you're going to need it for the, the body to give yeah, it the so it structure. Does, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Because it gives it, it... It's different than your normal fabric wallet, isn't it? It, it is, really yeah. gives it... But it gives it a, and when you put your stuff in it's not going to collapse either no so. but it's like well that's the point of making things for yourself it's got to be usable it's got to last <laughs> yes so you're gonna stick those really, on it really does iron on doesn't it it does iron on <laughs> you do need a hot iron okay um and put a pressing cloth on top um what you will need to do with heavy decaville because there is two weights with mm. the heavy decaville which is this is um, you do definitely need to keep it out the seams. Okay. Um, because it's going to be hard to fold. Can you sew through it? You can sew through it, but it's hard folding right. it, um, okay. especially in areas. And then where you've got the magnetic snap yeah. going, um, you need to actually put some Decaville in those areas as well. So with once you've got all your interface infused and that, and you've got your Decaville fused, you're going to pop your template on. So for the when you've got the kit, this is what you need it for, is the markings, the but markings. you won't need it as pattern pieces. No. Um, so the main body will be the one with the full Decaville arm. Mm. And then obviously this is your lining. So I've okay. labelled it up. Oh, that's nice. So. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and the install. Grunge, this kit, grunge kit, it's going wild. <laughs> as That's Hannah's word. Wild. Wild. Do you mean it's selling really well or it's just going wild, wild. in general? It's just going wild. <laughs> Classic. Right, okay, so wherever your markings are, you have got um some slits and a centre mark um on the actual washer. The centre mark goes over your centre mark and you draw on those slits. So there's no measuring, it's just all there on the pattern. Yeah. Fab. The only measurements that you need to do is where you put the card slots in and stuff yeah, like no, that. Yeah, no, no, but for th it's, I think it's for class, isn't it? It's so much better if you've got a pattern where you just Put the, the markings the on. <laughs> well, I did. I took, like I say, it took me seven mock ups. When well, I that's what I said this. for thirteen ninety nine for the whole, just the pattern. I think that's amazing value because yeah. you've done it, the hours it takes to sort this out. Yeah, exactly. Which well, these little slits. This is what I'm intrigued by as well. That's yeah. your wings. Oh, you see, that takes some working out. I think. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> that's my yeah. seven. That's my seven attempts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can imagine. And that's that's the thing is that it's it's your all of that is ta hard work is taken out when you buy the pattern. Yeah, you exactly. Just follow it. Yeah. Right. So I'm just going to cut through those slits and make sure I'm not going any further. And because it's Decaville, it's best to have a like a craft knife. Oh, does the seam ripper not work? No, for that? not through okay. the Decaville. They're just a little knife. Yeah. Can you get, because will it cut if you haven't got a knife? Um, yeah, you can probably poke a hole for it and then get some little snips. Right, okay. Okay, so for the main body, the one with the full Decaville, you're going to use the um, female. So the that's more the attractive one, one. The more attractive one. That's the one with the dimple going inside. It's it's a quilt. It is. It is. It's baby is. blocks. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, so ideally you want to put some fray check on now or fray stop, but... Um, it takes ages to dry and I'm hoping that's gone all the way through. <laughs> no, it hasn't. The pattern's that good, you can't see the slits. That's quite clever, isn't it? Yeah. Well done, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful because this fabric, it looks like layers of lace and swirls and well, stripes. When she first sent me the design for it, some of this patterns wasn't on. 
Okay. And we, um, we spoke to her. This was last time this was. So when so. these panels are created, you work with the designers? Well, I, I try and put my input. That's my artist side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you should, because this is your design. Yeah. Um, I'm, it doesn't matter which way you actually put the proms. I'm an outie, but some people are in I'm an innie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't ask me why. <laughs> do you know, I honestly think it's because, like, when someone shows you the first time, that's what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know why. And then you put in the, f um, the mail, the one with the little dimple on the lining. Okay. <laughs> She's laughing at my dimple. Hannah's giggling at that now. <laughs> The little, it's the little. <laughs> the one with the little dimple sticking out, that's the man. Right, male. <laughs> the male. Stop very giggling, Hannah. Right, okay, so I'm going to pop those to one side. You've prepped all those and we're going to oh, move okay. on to the card slot. Now, I'm only going to do one card slot because they means that I can move on further. But in the pattern, I will open the page quickly, but it's got measurements on. There's a little demonstrated little box at the bottom. Oh, uh, with all the measurements. Okay. With all the measurements. So on the back, so this is the piece you cut off the panel and then you put yeah. interfacing on. Yeah, all the pieces have got interfacing apart from the inside lining pieces of the actual zip right, okay. pocket. Okay, so you're going to draw all the markings on and then you start folding it a core, like press it that way and then you flip yeah, it. Yeah, they call that must take ages to work out as well. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then basically you press it so you've got your oh, card fab. slots. So we're just going to top stitch along all of those. So you have to open them up. Oh, uh, okay, to keep them in. Yeah. I can look at my purse here, you see. Okay, <laughs> got it. And I love the way that it's worked out so that the card slots, you've got like a blue one, a pink one, and a green one. Yeah. But um, it's all one piece of fabric. You can alternate it. So this time I've started off with the large section on the blue, but on the following one, you could have oh. started it off on that so side. So it's just one piece of fabric, but the way this has been printed. So buying the kit is such good value because it means that you, it looks like you've used loads of different fabrics. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. $24.99. Bargain. Oh, that is really clever. So I'm moving on to the next fold. So make sure you're always getting the fold that's like going to be shown when it's the cards. Yeah. So I'm moving on to the pink one. And then you get nice colours inside as well. You do. Like that. And then you move on to the last fold. So that will be that one for me. I didn't know that had that little light. Yeah, it's great. Have I never noticed that? <laughs> See, one of the reasons why I went for it, um, because we live in an apartment that's got um, like buildings around it, so it's like we don't get much light in. Mm. And I didn't have my overhead lights as it was, and I thought I need a, a machine that's got quite a lot so, of yeah. light. And I got that. Still got my 720, it's just... Oh, <laughs> this is your extra one. Yeah. Why was it important to have an extra one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I must admit, I do use this all the time. Right, so you've got a bit of excess there. The reason why we've got the excess is um, it's just to make sure if, for some reason, some people say it shrinks and that, so I left an excess on um, because you need at least quarter of an inch like on those if you haven't got a quarter of an inch you can juggle it a bit oh okay so we're just going to cut trim that excess back oh so in case i guess sometimes with the interface and if it pulls it in at all yeah 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 because um most common fault that people mm. do is with interfacing they put their iron on too hot that'll be me so it wrinkles i'm quite impatient yeah so <laughs> <laughs> So you're meant to have it on one dot, one or two dots, really? aren't you? It takes yeah. longer, though, it does, yeah. Um, and right. that's what makes it wrinkle. That's what makes it wrinkle. Okay. And then that's when you get your shrinkage rate as well. Right. So for people, impatient people, you've <laughs> allowed for that. Yeah. Right, OK. So we're going to turn these. So those two go right sides together. And then we're going to sew those two edges together a quarter of an inch. Make sure you reverse your stitch. So. I'm a bit short. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Know. I can't know. the first with that. Too. <laughs> I know. Well, you haven't got them. Why have you not got the mat? In fact, where has the mat gone? I always put the pedal on the mat. Yeah. Oh, it's there. Oh yeah. It's there, because yeah. it sort of it lifts it up just a little bit. Otherwise, it tends to pull, doesn't it? Yeah. We should have the mat. 
They normally get me the wooden plinth, Do but they? I'm with you, and I'm yes, taller fine. than you. Yes, it's fine. See, look, we look like normal people now, <laughs> yeah. don't we? <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm just going to finger press that. <laughs> yeah, because I'm normally taller than John. Yeah, Hannah says we are normal. Yeah, we are. It's John that's tall. <laughs> right, we're so I'm just normal. finger pressing that open, and then just turn that right side facing out. And then we're just going to put those folds back in that we've um, sewn on. And then, can you just give me that a quick press? Please? I can. If the iron is on. I'm well, right. it isn't. But you know this iron? It heats up <laughs> so fast. It does. I love mine. Well done if you've got the Mika one, because it is flying out. Have we actually got any left? <laughs> a few. A few. But not many. <laughs> Fewer than 20 of the meat of the grunge ones left and this is a complete restock because they've completely sold out last time they and there are fewer than 20 left i'm Good thinking day. christmas presents it's his now september i haven't actually started my christmas sewing yet which i'm feeling no, a little I bit haven't. disappointed with myself i'm trying to i don't know if my sister in australia is watching me but i'm making her a quilt are you yeah for her 50th mm. but i don't think it'll get there by november or i don't think it'll leave my quilting machine by november really <laughs> yes yeah, so i'm that behind on a lot of stuff <laughs> sending it in the post will be a nightmare as well so oh it's you we know, i always have great plans i think last year i was quite good i started really early because i crocheted my daughter a blanket and that took forever yeah and then it sort of gave up I, I got that one done and then i just sort of you know then it was all a bit last minute yeah that, i must admit i last year i didn't do any right so i'm just sewing down the two sides to hold all those slots into place through and then i'm going to I'm going to basically find the center of this. So this measures, okay, so this measures seven and a quarter. So we're gonna divide that into two and draw down the center. So uh, seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter divided into two. Well, it's three and a half plus an eighth. Yep, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so three and a half is three and four eighths. <laughs> So it's three and five eighths. Yeah. Do you know? All oh, the measurements are in the pattern. You do not need to remember this. <laughs> no. <laughs> or you could just fold it in half. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is now you would have made two of these. I'm only making one, but I'm going to show you where they need okay. to go. So we're going to find the center of this. And this, this is, is your such lining. a nice thing to make because it's all all sorted for you already. Yep. You see, I feel like I could make this in an afternoon. You could, easily, easily. Well, maybe a long afternoon. No, you can do it in an afternoon. Well, I could definitely make it in a day. Yeah. And then that's a gift done, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Right, okay, so make sure when you're installing the, um, the card slots that the card slot pockets are pointing towards this side on this side right and then on this side they need to be pointing otherwise they'll all fall out yeah or you can't put card slots in mm, really that'd no. be secret cards yeah so you're going to measure in and then we're going to pin this into place okay. and then you're going to measure it in from this part here and install it there but i'm just doing the one I, mean, I was thinking, why the, the, you've got this is the lining, isn't it? This is like the inside. I'm thinking, why are you saying that's the outside, but this is the lining side? It's the liner. Which is the same as the outside. Okay, so. And you've got raw edges. Don't hesitate. Don't worry about that. Um, those raw edges, because they're okay. being closed inside. See, and also, I was thinking, if you were buying, giving someone a gift voucher, or a small piece of jewellery, or something little for Christmas, then you, um, then you could make this for them to go in instead of gift wrap yep you might get actually do you know i think you would get a passport in there yeah you would a new um oh, a really? uk one yeah. okay not american one but definitely a uk one are they different sizes then yeah, yeah. americans are bigger oh. they have to yeah. be yeah <laughs> <laughs> bless them <laughs> right okay so i'm going to sew down the two sides and across mm. the bottom there so if you've got your phone and your passport in there, that's all you need now you don't even need your boarding card anymore that's it don't you? 
No, what do you have on your phone? You oh, just scan. I, I don't. I haven't been abroad for ages since I was oh, in no, Australia. Oh no, you just have the you have the QR code on your phone. You just get your phone, you put it on the thing, scans it. No, right. So you just need your phone and your passport. It's marvelous. So, because I, I guess it's maybe this. I'm always thinking about gifts at this time of year. This is brilliant for that. Get the kit, make it for you, and then use the pattern to make all your Christmas gifts. Yep, definitely. And I think twenty four ninety nine is amazing value. Particularly because you're getting all the pieces already done. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just a bit of interfacing. And you only need one piece of Decaville, don't you? From Because obviously you're buying quite a large amount. So yeah, but then that'll keep you going for many, many a purse. Many years. Right, so the next bit you're going to do is just sew over that black line. But where you've got the actual um, folds, you're going to just reverse over them because when you're putting in cards in and out, um, they um, actually yeah. stretch a bit, don't they? So. Oh, so you just do that when you... That's a good tip because you've got a lot of... You've got a lot of bulk there. Yeah. And I actually sometimes double up on my cards. So I like might have two... Especially yeah, with all the true. points cards that we oh, all get no. given. I've actually got a whole separate cards wallet now. Have you? Yeah. I you can just buy like one. Because well, all of those cards, you think, oh, I don't know whether to chuck those out. I don't know whether I'll need them because you have all the reward cards. Yeah, things. you do. So I've got a little wallet that I just put that lives in the bottom of my handbag that I never look in even. I don't know why I chuck that. But you think you might need them. Yeah, and then yeah, it yeah. means that in my purse, I'm going to have the ones that I actually use. Yeah, because some of the awards cards don't go on your Apple wallet. Um, you know, your scan. Mm. Right, okay, so you've got those. Then we're going to pop them right sides together, the main outer. So you would have implemented the um, second card slot. Yes. We're going to pop those right sides together. And we're going to clip. All the way around. So the machine that Becky's using, in case you want to know, for the extra light, is the um, 780 plus. It is. I've got a 720, but I think this is better, isn't it? I've is got it? both, I, I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got both. Mm. Uh, and I like, I must admit, I do like this one better. I've been using this one a lot more. What okay. do you love about it other than the lights then? Space. The space, um, the lights, yeah. um, it's got more stitches, you've got more control, you can add, you can buy stitches for it, so. Can you? Yeah, you can. What, more decorative stitches? Um, I haven't really gone down that road, but you can actually buy I some have. more. I have, I've decided, because I've got so many on my I'm going to use them, so I'd never top stitch anymore. I decorative stitch. Do you? Yes, because there's so many of them, aren't there? Yeah, there And is. even like, I found one that was like little waves the other day, and I thought, I'm, why am I top stitching? I do the waves um, when I'm straight, um, straight quilting. I like... I like the one that's the line, line of laundry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Love yeah. that one. So because I have them and I have used them, that's it. Now I'm not top stitch anymore. I have decorative <laughs> stitches everywhere, even like bag straps. Yeah. Because I'm determined to you use can pro them all. You can program how the stitches are, though. So if you like some of the, um, on this one. So if you like just the shirt, you can take the shirt. Really? And then you can add something in from another <gasps> stitch. Yeah, it's all done in there. Oh, wow, because there's like scissors and stuff, so yeah. you could hang scissors on a yeah. lot. Oh, I like Do that. not touch yeah. my scissors. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, with this. There you we can. go. There's, there it is on the screen if you want one. <laughs> it's only 2,799. And if you set really fast, 2,799. That's cheaper than what I paid. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around, apart from this section here, mm. this section here, and then we're going to leave that large turning gap. So you're going to leave a large turning gap of the okay. size of the decaville. So we're going to go down here, and then we're going to go there, and there, and then there. Okay, so. you do that, and I'll talk about kits. Yep. So the kit that we're using, shall I go back? Might take me some time. <laughs> I'll go back. <laughs> While you're do, doing that, I'm going to talk about kits. Cat's trying to move the set around, so I've just messed up her system. Right, so if you want the one, the kit to make the grunge, remember you've got the full pattern. I won't open it because Becky showed you. It's got all of the instructions plus all the pattern pieces. Now, for this grunge kit, you say so you get this 
and you get the slim magnetic clasp which is fantastic I definitely want some of those and you get the fabric panel now this is the brilliant part I mean obviously you can use if you buy the pattern and you can use your own fabric but this is just great because it's got all of these colors in it so you've got the outer and the lining you see that's all the grungy bits and then the card pocket is brilliant isn't it can you see all the different colors on it and Becky's worked it out so that when you fold it all each pocket's a different color it's got everything you need it's even got the little zip tabs it's just brilliant brilliant and for 24.99 that's fantastic value it's definitely worth getting the kit because then you've got the fabric but because you get the pattern with it with all the measurements and the pieces you could make one in um like velour leopard print couldn't you be quite nice um can you attach a strap or chain to make it into a cross body bag Becky, yes you can from Elizabeth? so the bit that i'm going to show you in a minute right i'll show you how to put some d-rings in oh okay yeah all right so when becky's gone all the way around we'll show you how to do that right and then if you want to make the um the gray one oh gray's about to sell out i've just gone back to get it so if you want the gray one that's what this one looks like we're on single figures so you've got the beautiful gray like little ditzy print and then on the inside it's got a pink matching version that has that's for the card pockets and the zip purse i will show you the panel so exactly the same as with the grunge kit you get the um full pattern with instructions lovely little slim magnetic clasp and this is the fabric panel so there's the um i think i had it upside down last time i did so at the bottom there's the outside and the lining and then you can see um you've got all the clasp as well is this bit this long bit that's what amy had left over so so you could, you could use make that so the, wristlet, there's a long yeah. well i was thinking there's a long piece of fabric here that's just a spare bit but that could be for the strap couldn't it yeah easily or a wristlet or whatever yeah. you want to use it for so if you've got the kit and you want to do you want to make it so it's got a little strap on it absolutely perfect because actually if you were using it maybe if you were going on holiday with it it'd be really handy in the airport to have this cross body yeah and when the man says passport please you can go oh we have got it here because <laughs> <laughs> when i was in the airport I was, i've got quite a big handbag so i made a new one to take with me oh i spent every bit going through my bag searching for my passport i thought i'd got it all sorted I thought, I have a big bag. Right, the coral version, it's, the, it's very similar to this, the print of this one, but it's just a um, slightly different colour. So obviously you get the full pattern, you get the slim magnetic clasp, and then here's the print. So it's just a really pretty coral, very coral ditzy with pink as well. So it just depends really what colourway you like. And it's even got a label. So if you're making it somewhere, because it says this belongs to, what you could do, which would be quite nice, to make it a bit more discreet, I think, I'd either write using a permanent pen their name on this, and then you could actually sew it maybe to the outside of the zip, or you could sew it to maybe one of the, um, the inside of the wallets rather than have it on the outside but you could do that before you sew it all together it would look quite nice to have a little label on the inside or you could even put it on the inside of the, the zip section just as a little surprise when they open it up it's got their name in it anyway those are all the kits right becky right you've done it well done right so i've sewn all the way around apart from leaving these flaps open right and the reason why we don't top stitch those down is because it gets quite bulky in certain areas so if you keep it um non-open you're going to have to cut into the corners so there's little snips into the corners right up to the seam allowance so let me just do this one and then we're going to turn it right side facing out and it will get creased i can guarantee you that okay expect creasage yeah and if your decafil starts peeling off don't worry about it we can press it back on oh okay because it'll be mainly stuck on even if yeah. it starts peeling off I've never used Ecoville. Haven't you? No, I've written loads it of patterns. It is a game changer. Um, but I've not used it. It's a game changer. Like I say, embrace the process. 
I know, the thing is, you get these products that you think oh, I've never used, and then you find them and you think, wow. Yeah. Why have I never used that before? It's like when I discovered the point turner. <laughs> I used to watch people on Stone Call to demonstrate them all the time, thinking, I don't know what the point of that. They're the um, tube turners. Tube turners, uh, um, I use mine all the time. Oh, for everything as well. Yeah. Why did I not know before? Just poke out there. Oh, just poked a hole in there, but just ignore that. Okay. It looks like a dress now, sort of, or a soft toy with all its legs open. Yeah, it does actually, doesn't it? <laughs> is the iron still on? Um, yes, it is. I kept it on. Please, may I just bother the... Right, so you've got to really pull out the seams. Okay. Thank you. Shall I just bring it over? Yes. I can do it if you like, but if you want to show me how to do it. <laughs> Nicely. <laughs> yeah, if you want to show me how to do it properly. Right, so make sure all your seams are out. I'm just going to turn that down. Yeah, even if you've used the um, interface in that needs two medium dots, um, you can't really press any higher than two medium dots. Okay. Yes, yeah, I'm rubbish at that. Shrink. It does. It does. And it's really hard to get off as well. It is. <laughs> and then just give it a press that side. <coughs> okay, so you've got this excess seam allowance. You're going to push that up. Is that on? Yeah. And you're going to push that up like that. I saw, I saw you grab. <laughs> there you go. You're going to press it. Doing this bit back to front, but okay. So once you've done that, sorry. Right. I'm once the iron assistant. <laughs> once you've done that, you're gonna top stitch just along that edge there, all the way across, making sure your seam is tucked up inside. So when you bought, if you bought your kit or your pattern, don't forget to write down today i mean you'll know because it'll be on your order sheet because people often say i can't remember and you go well it'll be on your order sheet yeah, and then right. watch this back because this makes it a lot simpler because there'll be lots of little bits that becky's shown you here that you'll need when you're making them. yeah that's why i just missed out that second card slot so you basically um, yeah because you won't need you'll know that it's in the yeah, pattern exactly same instructions as the first one but just implemented in a different area Right, okay, so I need you to actually press now, and you I need to press <laughs> quite a lot. Right, so you're going to fold that over, and it's going to fold over, so that's like a quarter of an inch in. Okay. So that and, bit, yeah, and, and the on the other side. I can do that. So while Bex is doing that, I'm going to just go on to implementing the zip part. Oh, you do it up to the Decaville. Okay, I've got yeah. that. Yeah. That's why you can't really fold Decaville. Yeah. You're finding it, you're... You'll find it quite hard if you've got Decaville in that seam. Right, okay, so you've cut your zip down to six and a half inches and you've got two little tabs. Your tabs will go on the right side of your zip where the coil is on either end. I'm just gonna add those. Do you press it all the way up to the edge of, does that turn that over though? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, thought I'd gone wrong. No, no, no. No, that's fine. Okay, and then we're just going to sew a quarter of an inch either side. Oh, that's for the little zippy tab. Yeah. So, oh. so this is where, if you wanted to put a label on, like on the purse, on the zip pocket, you can, you can do put it that on now. Yeah. I think that'd look quite cute, wouldn't it? Especially if you're making it for someone else. I never actually thought of that when I did the samples. Well, I also I, I like the idea the of back. putting it um, like on the inside of the pocket. So, if, particularly for someone else, you know, you'd be a little surprised. Yeah, you? exactly. Rather than it being on the bag itself. Zips on a roll have sold out. Oh, the grunge colourway sold out again. I did warn you though. <laughs> um, now we do have some twenty cent some zips that are the right length. I hope I've done this right. Cut yeah, to the, uh, the 20 centimetre length. So we do have some of those. Right, on the pattern on its own, we've got 10 left. So if you want just the pattern on its own, £13.50, amazing value, because now you can see how much work has gone into this. And there are so many photos 
There is a lot. Photos, diagrams, more photos. There is so much information in here. That's what I'm qualified in as a photographer. Are you? Yeah. I thought you were a qualified bag maker, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So I've been saying You would be if there was a qualification. Yeah, I would, yeah. You'd have A-level bag making. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's why I take a lot of photos. And I'm dyslexic, so I assume people are like me. They follow photos better. Yeah, than... well, to be honest, <coughs> most people do say I'm a visual learner. And I think, well, yep. I've never met anyone who says I'm not a visual learner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have you ever found that no. oh, I'm not a visual learner? <laughs> But yeah, I think you're right. I think it's just having those photos makes such a difference. That's why I buy indie clothes patterns. I right. don't buy like the big brand ones right. because they're all handwritten. There's not money diagrams in them. Yeah, that's true actually. Yeah, I prefer them anyway. And, the, and the pattern paper's thicker. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know, they're just sort of, I suppose maybe when you sort of work with all the different people sewing, I kind of like, working with little little independence yeah it, it just i know i sort of feel that they've put more time and love into their patterns and their designs yeah definitely yeah we do yeah we do we do <laughs> so therefore i'm happy to support them yeah me too and i think also you know when you buy things if you know that people have put a lot of time in and you know when you just look at this pattern how many pages there are in it it's well worth a £13.50. Right, okay, so I've folded those in and I'm making sure that I've at least got one eighth or a quarter of an inch. Right. What we're going to do is actually top stitch all the okay. way along, over there, around there, and all the way. And this will close off the card slots for you and stop that raw edges. Okay. So knock your stitch length up. So do you have to use a special needle or anything to get I've through I've got a here? size 16 needle in this. No. Yeah, the great thing about this is rather than the machine just beeps and it goes, no, I don't like yeah, that. it's a bent needle. Sorry. We'll do a final roundup. Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Why she change your needle? Yeah. Now, so shall I go back? Right, so the grunge was sold out. This one, gone. The ditzy grey, which is this one. That's, that's, sold, out. that's sold out. There are a few coral available. The coral is very similar in pattern to the grey. It's just coral. That's not exactly the same. Remember, you get the pattern, you get the fab thin skinny magnetic clasps and that's the colourway for it. It's gorgeous isn't it? It's just the same print as the grey but just cobble. Um, have we got any patterns left Hannah? Patterns are gone <laughs> but you do get with so the only way you can get the pattern now is to buy the coral bundle which to be honest is the best value if you ask me because you're getting that fabric which is amazing isn't it? for like a tenner. It's very good value, isn't it? Um, and you get these, um, the mag have we got any of the magnetic class left, Hannah? You do get one in the bundle. So the only way you can get the pattern or anything is to buy the coral bundle now, because everything else is gone. Right, so the skinny, skinny clasp, this one is silver. <laughs> get it apart, right. They are very strong. Right, so there's the skinny clasp in silver. And to give it the grip, because it's skinny, you've got a print on it, but they haven't just put any print, they've made it nice and decorative. So that's the silver one, but we've also got the gold. I really like the gold, because it's quite a pretty gold. Only one ninety-nine. There we go, there's the gold. Now, loads of you have been asking about the interfacing. So, Decaville, now we've talked a lot about it because... Is it the same as Bozal? No, it isn't. It's Decaville. 
it's different. It's a very specialist product, which is what is the beauty of Sewing Street, is that we can provide you with them. It's used mainly in bag making or anything structured. I've seen people use it with storage boxes, but for this wallet, it's ideal. It gives you that, it's, it has that feel of leather. <gasps> no way. That's cheap. Wow. Right, so what we've managed to do, because Hannah and I had this little meeting yesterday with <laughs> Hayley, see, and we said, why can't we sell it by the half metre? Because if you only make a little person, you don't want a whole metre. And um, we weren't sure, so this is why we've been holding off a little bit, because we needed to know whether we could get it. Is that it? Yes. I love that. Cats, it's, it's just come. So we persuaded the warehouse to cut it so we could sell it by the half metre. First time ever. So now obviously, if you make loads and loads of bags, you'll want to buy the metre. But if you're making purses, or if you've never used it before and you want to try it, 8 99 so it's 90 centimetres wide. So same as most waddings, to be honest, 90 centimetres, but 50 per so you're half metre long. Now remember, it's a bit light. If you think about a leather, that's the kind of thickness it is. And one side is shiny, that's the iron-ons, the fusible side. Now, it won't come, if you multiply, it won't come as a continuous piece. If you buy two pieces of this, you'll get two 50 centimetre pieces. That's the way it works. So we can't do it um, as multiples, but this is the first time we've been ever to, that was a good conversation Hannah and I had. We persuaded her. And then Haley's obviously persuaded the warehouse. But it's great because it means that for people who you know want to make the wallet but just want a smaller piece or if you've not tried it before but it's very you can sew through it what it doesn't like is being folded i've learned all this this morning i sound like i know what i'm talking about this is just me copying what becky said but i'm gonna have a go at this because you know when you're doing like a messenger bag or shoulder bag and you've got that flappy flappy bit yeah perfect for flappy yeah, bits that, that's in leather design they do that they put that kind of stabilizer in okay when they've got back in like you got a suede on one side and then you got a real leather on one side oh and they'll put this in yeah it's a great product and it almost has a suede type feel as well and it's just a really neutral quite a rich cream really so yeah. it will go with most fabrics but 8.99 so obviously there's more than enough here to make this purse so you'll be able to make several purses even with the half meter piece but after much persuasion and cajoling of the warehouse, um, we've managed to do it. Half a metre piece. Fantastic. Right, let's come back to... Um, carry on checking out for that, because we know there's loads of you. We've had lots of you asking this morning, but we wanted to wait to see whether the warehouse would cave, and they did. Right, OK. I don't know how much longer I've got left, but... Um, couple of minutes. Couple of minutes, that's fine. I'll talk you through it. So on the wings, once you've sewn down the two mm. sides, you're going to draw in the measurements and the pattern. And the reason why we've got that is we're going to bring that body over to that and we're going to clip that in. And what's generated underneath is a fold. Oh. So you're going to go and press all those mm. and then you're going to top stitch down all of those so it holds the crease in. And then once you've done that and you've got your creases in, you're going to put the outer bag wrong side, uh, right side facing out, you're going to bring it and fold it over and then you're going to sew down the two flaps but this would be a lot smaller because obviously you've got that fold there so you're going to sew down, mm. sew down there. Once you've made your actual wallet, where those two folded bits in, you slot the actual slip pocket, uh, not the zip pocket yes, in yeah, okay. and then you pull it out and then sew. Okay, brilliant. I mean, that's all in the instructions. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's fab. Well, well done, Becky. You've really kind of cleared us out there, really. That's all right. <laughs> that's what I was hoping. That was the aim, wasn't <laughs> it? Means it means I can come back next yes, time. Yes, yes. You, you have cleared. <laughs> there are a few coral left, not yeah. many. Um, the, so we will keep the graph. We're going to have a break now. Give Becky a little rest. Um, we'll keep the graphics in for that half metre piece of the Decaville over the break because this is the first time we've ever been able to sell it by the half metre. Remember it's pre-cut, it if you buy more than one it won't come as a continuous cut piece which we normally do like with fabrics where yeah. it says that but for this it's just half a metre. We've never been able to do it before so no. luck, thank you very much warehouse, thank, thank you. you for listening. <laughs>
<laughs> it does make We've a difference. We've been saying that years, though. I know, I yeah. know, but it does make a difference because you don't always want a big piece. No, no. I mean, you might buy a half meter and think, that's it, I'm going to buy loads from now on. <laughs> anyway, after our little chat about Deckerville, we'll go, <laughs> we'll go for a little break. I'll see you back in a few minutes' time. It's um, Amber Makes September Block of the Month. It's all about the blue hydrangea, which I love. See you in a bit. Follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're
you're a sewing street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Uh, welcome back to Sewing Street. So this is all about September flower shop block of the month, which is the hydrangeas this month. And I've made it into a storage bucket. So it's perfect for um, putting yarn in because it's nice and deep, good for your knitting. You could put all your craft supplies in there. You could put fabric. It'd be brilliant to put in the bathroom. You could fill it with toilet rolls or cosmetics or whatever, anything really. Use it as a small laundry basket. Be nice in a baby's room all sorts of things you can do with it um so that's the and we've gone for hydrangeas because there are different typical flowers of the month but i don't like all of them really so amy and i have just chosen the ones we like oh we've sold half of the stock of this one on pre-order um so i just said to amy i like hydrangeas she liked hydrangeas so what we've done is, I'll explain how the block of the month works in a moment, but you've got the hydrangea panel here on the front, which is this beautiful display of hydrangeas. And she's also put, um, so other, I quite like all the little laurel leaves in there as well. Beautiful flowers. And then on the back, you've got a gingham print. There's a nice grey gingham on the base. And then the inside is all lined with a blue hydrangea print because I really wanted when the cuff came because the, the reason it has the stability is it's got bosal in it but also by folding the cuff over it gives it but I wanted that um hydrangeas and then it has handles which you can put on or not depending on what you're using it for it's also really good as Amy and I found out when you go, went to the garden center you can put a blue hydrangea in it and it really makes a nice gift because as long as it's in a waterproof pot you see in the picture there looks lovely with a blue hydrangea in it so that's the storage bucket now the the way that the flower shop block of the month, if, you, if you've been following it since February, you'll know exactly how it works. We have designed, Amy and I together, a different, well, Amy's designed the flowers, I've just done the projects, um, a different flower of the month for every month. Some of them are the traditional standard flower of the month, others are just the ones we like. And the idea is you collect all of the flowers of the month and at the end you can make them into a quilt. So this is what we look like so far. So we started it in February. 
So you've got February with um, snowdrops and you've got March with daffodils and then April with tulips. May was um, sweet peas. Then we move on to, I've got to remember these now, June. What was June? Mm, I'll think about that one in a minute because I can't see the pictures from there. Oh, I should know them from here. Oh no, May was peonies, June was sweet peas. July, July was um, roses. Yeah, what was that? July was roses, August was, how can I not remember what these were? Hmm? August was sunflowers. <laughs> That's right. And September is hydrangeas. We've put each, so the way it works is that you will, at the end, we will, we'll do all the flowers and then we'll finish it in January and have a different flowers for each one. And then we're going to do a panel at the end so that you can make it into an attic window style quilt. So it will look like the front window of a flower shop because all of the flowers that are in the vases are on a little, printed on a little shelf. Once you join them all together, we will do a separate panel that has all of the pieces to make it into the flower shop then you can make it into that. But what we also decided is that if you don't, if you want to make the whole quilt, that's great. You can collect all of the individual panels, um, but you can choose. So if you want to, don't want to make the whole quilt, you just want to make the project. Let me show you the panel and it will all make sense. Is the overhead working on this one now? Yeah, oh good. So what you get on every panel, whichever month you buy, you get the illustrated version of the print. So here's the hydrangeas, it's in a lovely jug. And there's the shelf. So that's the illustrated version. You also get an informal flower version. So what you can do, also on here are all the fabric pieces to make the storage bucket. What you can do, I know a lot of people have done, is they've kept the illustrated version for their quilt and then they've used the informal flowers, which is like a little posy of the flowers, and they've used that for the project. Or if you think, well, I don't want to make the quilt, I don't want to collect them, I just want to make this storage bucket, then you can choose which one you use. So we always give you both flowers so that you can use one for the project and you can keep one for the quilt or just buy one and don't keep it because you might not want to make the quilt. So on this um, September flower, 17.99, you will get all of this big panel. You'll get the informal flowers and the formal flowers and then all of the fabric pieces you need. So this is the back of it, so that's that gingham. You've got, I mean, it's a really big panel, this one. It's bigger than normal, I think. You've got the body lining, which is this beautiful blue hydrangea print. You've got circles, so it's all, there's no templates, it's just cut and sew. You've got the circle of the grey gingham, which is the base. You've got the lining. We give you a couple of um, freebie charm squares. So you've got baby ones, so you've got the baby um, informal and formal. You've got the top outer, we've got labels, because some people have made these as gifts, or oh, they want to put the, the name on it, September. And then we've got the handle pieces. So every fabric piece that you need is on there. You also get full instructions. So this shows you exactly how to make the storage bucket with all photos, all of the fab, the names for everything, um, all, all walk through. But also importantly is I have made a full video tutorial. So it tells you here where you can find it. It's on the Amber Makes website and even easier, there's a QR code there. So if you are new to sewing or you're, if you prefer to watch videos, there is a full video tutorial. It's on the Amber Makes website now. So even if you want to watch, if you bought the kit and you want to watch it, you can go on there and find it. So that will tell you exactly how to make it. To make this, you will obviously need something structured and we've put bosal in it, which is the best thing. So you will need a piece of bosal, half a metre. This is single-sided, fusible. Now, this is cut to order, so this is what you will get. And you only need half a metre and you probably have a little bit left over, but that's what gives it that structure. Bosal is fab because it, you can sew through it. I've no idea how because it's quite thick, but you can sew through it like a dream. It's um, solid, as you can see, but it's squishy as well, which is great when you come to turn it right sides out. Or it's great if you want to use it. Um, I've done, made one of these before and taken them on holiday. You can just fold them up and put them in your suitcase and then you open it up brilliant for your laundry. So Bosal is brilliant for that. It's a wonderful product. It's a foam interfacing, but you will need half a metre of that and some thread and that's it really.
So that's the September block of the month. Now what we also did, because at the beginning we had a lot of people asking us, they liked the prints and they wanted to have smaller versions of them. So um, what we've done, I've got to find it, where is September? That's it. Yes. Yeah, I've got it. So we've also created, and we, we do these every month as well, um, a charm square block. So on here, shall I lay it on the desk? There are 40 squares. And they are, so you'll find if you look at it, you've got mini, it's all five inch squares, but you've got like miniature versions of the, um, the display and the informal. And then you've got prints taken from it. So you've got some of the hydrangeas there. And you see, and in the pot as well, if you look, there's asters and hydrangeas, because aster is, the, I think, the traditional flat September, the flower month, but I like the hydrangeas. So we've got both. So you've got one here, so you've got some gingham squares, you've got um, an aster on the gingham background. So these are all prints that you will see feature this that you can then use for your own makes as well. Just $14.99, they're all 45 inch squares and there are 40 of them on there. So if you've missed out at all, I'm not gonna go through them now, but if you've missed out on any of the blocks of the month, we have got them all. They are all on the website. I mean, if, if I've got time at the end, I'm gonna go through them all. So like, you know, for example, there's August, the instructions panel. I won't go through them all now, I'll never get, be able to do anything, but they are all on the website, as well as all of the charm squares. So every month we've also got charm squares as well. Um, what I've also done is, so we've, I've made a spring quilt using three, using March, April and May's charm squares. We have a pattern instructions for that. And then I made a summer quilt using June, July and August charm squares. I'll show you that in a minute because it'll be hanging behind me. Because that would be behind me. And so this is September now. So this is beginning of autumn. So I'm just starting to design the autumn one so the idea is is that if you in the kit you have the instructions plus the three charm squares so if you've been collecting the charm square panels then you can buy the instructions each time to make because we have the instructions on their own as well as in kits so if you want to buy just the instructions it's just a way of i know a lot of people collect charm squares and then think and oh, now what am i going to do with them so i'm going to move over show you september so i can actually show you how to make it I'll bring it with me and sit in front of the machine. So this is the um, this is the bunting quilt. So this is using all of the summer charm squares. So this is using June, July, and August. So hang out the flags quilt. It, it's in, these are just the instructions. Now, when I demonstrated this, I said to a lot of people, if you don't want to buy the kit and you want just the instructions, it's a brilliant memory quilt because it uses five inch squares and there's a think from memory, I think 60 or 70 of them. So a lot of people said, oh, fantastic. I've got a massive K Facet collection. I've got a massive Tula collection. What to do? Or I've got lots of baby clothes or I want it to remind me of a particular person and I've got a lot of their clothes because it is used. There are no templates. There are no funny angles at all. I've done it in a really, really simple way so that all you need is your five inch charm square, plain fabric, and then some fabric for the bunting strings you could use it for cushion fronts it's very adaptable to make i mean this will fit a single bed that's what i designed it for or a double bed with not much overhang but a lot of people i know said i've got loads of charm square packs that i've bought or i love um, liberty or or as i say it is brilliant for a memory quilt because you can just have a little piece and then some people have said you could embroider like little dates on in the instructions are all the fabric requirements or if you want to know if you want to buy the instructions you want to know beforehand if you go onto the sewing street website and have a look at that product code gya46 i've listed in there what all the fabric requirements are if you want to know that in advance also, when you get the instructions, there is a full video tutorial of exactly how to make it. But it's easy peasy. Oh, it's quite repetitive, but it is easy peasy because I wanted to be able to create triangles for you without templates because I always find them a bit tricky. Is my bucket in the wrong place? There we go. There we go. 
So the reason the um, storage bucket has just this panel on the front, obviously, and then other fabric around the side is because obviously we need to use the panel because I know a lot of people like to collect it to make the whole quilt at the end. But I know a lot of you as well maybe just want to make one project. So that's the point of this. Um, you can also, if you have bought any of the other flowers of the month, the, the squares are all the same size. You could use a different um, flower of the month in that. But obviously, the, on each of the panel for all of the projects, you've got different size fabric pieces. Right, I'm going to show you how to make it. I'll put it on the floor for now. Well, if I, do, if I put it on the table, it'll be in the way. There, is that OK? Yeah. Yeah, I felt like it was in the way, really. So I'll show you how, where you start. So you've got to construct um, the outer. I'm going to have to give this a little press. I've had the, I, did this, I did my show prep for this a couple of weeks ago before I went on holiday. And it's all, all, all a bit creased now. So what you do to start with is get your panel and you will see, when I go and get it back, sorry. Poor cat's just folded all that up. Um, on the panel, everything is labelled. And if you've used any Amber Makes kits, you'll know exactly how it works. Because our whole idea behind the Amber Makes kits is cut and sew. Don't need templates. Just want to be able to cut it out and sew it together. So as you can see, like from here, everything is labelled. So this um, piece here says back outer. So cut round the outer edges of everything. All the seam allowances are on there, so you don't need to think about it or add them out. But you, it is very important that you cut the label off and pin it to the top. Because if you pin it to the top, you know which way it up, because some pieces it's quite important that they're the right way up. So things like the top outer, you've got to get them the right way up. So base lining. So Cut round the black lines that go round the outer edge of everything and then pin the relevant label to the centre or no, to the top edge somewhere, just so you remember which piece is which. You will need to trim the flowers. I've used the formal arrangement here, but you could use the informals. You will have to trim that down because we've made it bigger so that when you make the quilt, it's a little bit bigger. Because I always find it's better, particularly with quilt squares or blocks, if they're just trimmed slightly, it gives you nice crisper edges. So you will need to trim that one down, but all of that information is given in the instructions and also in the video tutorial. I'm just giving these a little press because they are really creased. I've had them flat as well. I don't know what's happened. I think maybe they just get creased just by lying flat. Anyway, so what you do to start with is this is to make it fit, is you've got the top outer and you sew the top outer to the top edge of the panel and you've, because you've trimmed the flower block in advance, then it will be exactly the same size. So just pin that one to the top and sew it on. Now you won't actually see this because it will go under the cuff, but you need it so that you can actually have a cuff. I've used um, a quarter of an inch seam allowance in the whole thing. So I'm just going to quickly sew that into place. dear. I didn't have time beforehand to check the machine, <laughs> as you can see, which probably means I've threaded it up slightly wrong. Um, yes, please do go, I'm going to just have to test this. Um, please do keep on checking out for the panel and don't forget you will need that half metre of bosal as well. Perfect. <laughs> I'll just sew back over that now. And that's what happens when you don't put the bobbin in properly. I was doing it in a bit of a rush, to be honest. So this is ideal for storing. It'd be quite nice for baby's room, for putting like nappies and things in. Or in the spare room. Actually, do you know if you're in the spare room, you could put um, toiletries in or you could, you could have, um, there we go. Or you could put plants um, like folded up towels, put a plant in it. 
it's quite a nice gift thing. You know, instead of giving somebody a hamper, if you wanted to fill it, um, if you wanted to put some nice um, food biscuits and things in, quite nice for hamper because you could get quite a few bottles of Prosecco in that, couldn't you? Right, so now I've sewn the top. You can take the labels off as you go or leave them in. It's entirely up to you. Then you have the, um, it's called the, the back outer, the body outer. So all I'm going to do is sew that to this side. Doesn't matter which side actually, left or right. This is sort of constructing the whole body. So when you do the lining of the piece that's actually on the panel, the lining is, um, will be exactly the same size as this, but we're having to join it all together because of having the floral arrangement on it. So although all the pieces are printed on here, I know some people do, um, they want to make another one, is they do make a pattern of them or just measure them and then they can make another one from their own fabric, which is fine. On the instructions, you won't find any measurements for the pieces though, because the idea is you can just use the panel because you don't need the measurements. Right, so that's the outer bit. Um, I'm going to press the seams open for these. Sometimes I press seams to one side, depends what I'm making. And I know people have their preferred method, but um, for something like this, especially because I'm going to press it all onto some bosal in a minute, if you keep your seams pressed open, it just makes it a bit flatter. And always press as you go. I always press the seam first to set it because it just pushes the... Um, settles the stitches into the fabric because the movement of the needle through the fabric does disturb it a bit so if you press always set a seam first by just pressing it before you press it open you just get a neater finish and then on the other side once you press this pressed it one side oh, there's all my spare threads um, Once you've pressed it on the other on the back where you've pressed it open, then give it a little press from the front as well because sometimes you get you get an edge just turned over a little bit. It just means that's nice and neat. Right now, what I'm going to do is put the bows on because I really wanted to show you this because sometimes I do it in advance, but I think it's quite useful to see how you do it. So you you will obviously have a bigger mat than me. I've just got a little mat here. Now, if you look at the bosal. It's, this is single-sided fusible. You can get double-sided, but you only need single-sided for this. You see one side is slightly shiny, and then the other side is slightly fleecy, and you need the slightly, the slightly shiny side is the one with the glue on. So I'm going to put this onto the, this is your half meter piece. Put that on there. Well, I've cut this down a bit because your half pe metre piece is a bit longer than this because you also need to put the base on it. So I've cut the end of the way because I've done my base already. So I've pressed the base on here and then I've quilted it. So your base will go on to the other side. So make sure when you put your bows on your half metre, your fabric on your half metre piece, you push it over to the right hand side. It doesn't have to be right on the edge, you know, half an inch in, but then you've got enough to be able to do the base as well. So make sure it's all light, it's, it's central on there. There's no bits sticking out. And then you'd simply press it into place. So I tend to start and move outwards. Now be careful that you don't catch your iron on this, on the edge of it, because obviously it will stick to your iron. So you could use a pressing cloth for this or make yourself an iron cosy. If you want um, a free pattern for that, if, if you go on the Amber Makes website, I have written a free pattern, which is basically just a, like a tea cosy, but for an iron. So it means you don't have to use a pressing cloth. So when you do it, if you just work from the inside out, because I tend to make it stick just enough and then cut it. It means that I, I can then um, press it right up to the edge, but it doesn't require much heat at all. 
medium sort of heat. And if you if you count, I was I'm never really sure how long. If you sort of go one and two and one and two and that's enough to get it just about stuck. And then you can go back over. I mean, obviously, when you're doing yours on your ironing board, it will be a lot longer and you're gonna have to keep moving it but there we go so it's as simple as that you just press it onto place so it's a wonderful product because it will just give stiffness so it's brilliant for something like this for a storage bu bucket it's really good for I've used it a lot in some 3d things it's good for storage buckets because you can stitch through it really well not and you don't even need a thicker needle i mean i tend to use sort of a sharps microtex needle for nearly all of my sewing and it's absolutely fine so once you've sewn it into place now it's up to you now i would add some quilting if i was you and i think it's easier to add the quilting before you trim just because then you can start on the edge and sew through it's up to you what you do if you look at my storage bucket I quilted around the edge of the teapot because quite fancied that. And then, because of the gingham and the lines are already in there, I quilted um, vertical lines every three squares. Just because I think it, gi it gives it some structure. The quilting it does will give it more structure. It adds detail as well. And because you've got the gingham here, it's quite nice to do that. Um, when I did the base, I did them all vertical and I thought it actually needed to be horizontal as well. But I find it easier at this stage to, to do all the quilting and then cut it. I'm not going to do the quilting now because that will take time. So once you've done that you can and you've quilted it, you can cut it out. Now you can either do that with a pair of scissors or you can use a pottery cutter, which I'm going to do. So just take your a long ruler and a rotary cut it also cuts really nicely so just line up the edge and trim it off Very difficult cutting when you, I could do with a step ladder actually because the thing is with rotary cutting is the what makes it work really well is that you need that downward pressure but when the desk is so high I went on holiday last year and and the, the desk got raised I have to actually stand on tiptoe for this to work I think it was all done for John you see <laughs> oh Scott's here now yes if you could come and you in fact you could come and do my rotary cutting for me there we go so just cut it all the way around but when you do yours you won't you, you won't need to stand on tiptoe like I am there we go but you see how well it cuts as well it's like a miracle thing it's a miracle product because it stiff and it's squishy and it cuts and it sews oh uh, yeah sorry in my opinion <laughs> yes yeah, sorry <laughs> i think it's an amazing product it's one of those things it's a bit like the um the decaville that we were just saying that you might not have used it before but once you start using it and you realise how good it is, you think, oh, actually, there's lots of things I could do that for. So, you know, when I make tote bags, sometimes I just make a tote bag with an outer and lining. Sometimes I put wadding in and then sometimes I put this bosel in it and it's just brilliant because you get almost like a basket, you know, that kind of structured basket effect bag. Right, I've now cut off all of my bosel. So you may find at this stage that you need to give it another press. There might be some bits around the edges, but you can do that then. Right, what I'm going to do now is turn it into a tube so that it will, will then form the bucket. Now, when you're, now we're actually starting to sew it together, you can pin it together. I think, personally, it's easier. Where's my clips? To clip it together, just because you've got a lot of layers. So if you've got fabric clips, brilliant. I mean, fabric clips are fab because, you know, you buy them once 
because they're much easier, less, much more difficult to lose than pins. And you use them in lots of things. But if you don't have clips, then don't worry, you can use pins. They're just a little bit harder to get through. So I'm going to clip it together. Now, when you sew it together, you can use a walking foot. I would probably would change to a walking foot, but I'm not going to do that here because um, it just takes time. Because you can actually do it without a walking foot. It's just a bit easier with one, I would say. It goes through a bit better and I'll have to help it a bit more. Only because of the layers. It's not the needle, it's just you've got a lot of layers there. But look, so this is a normal, in fact, that's blue. So this is a universal sew machine needle, not, not any extra thickness or strength. And I'm going through the two layers of bosel and fabric here without any problem at all. That's why I think it's an amazing product because it gives you that stiffness, but it will also go through the machine fine. So with the clips, you see, they're just quite easy to remove as you go. And amazingly, they will hold the layers together as tightly and firmly as a pin would. Right, so now I've got a tube. So I'm just going to, well, press the seam open. Let me just check my notes. So you can press the seam open if you like, but I would, I'll, I would do that. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got time, haven't I? I'm going to show you how to sew the bottom on. Now, this is, this is if you're going to sew any circle onto a straight edge, this is how you do it. So I'll need my pins for this. So I'm going to divide the, the base into a quarter. So just have a little look inside to make sure you've got the bottom, because it's really annoying when you realise you've done this to the top. So have the seam on one side and then fold it your fingers along and then pop a pin so you can see pop a pin on the other side and then that's halfway then open it up and pop a pin so make sure the pin matches up with the seam now what you will have probably done because you've quilted this and in the instructions i do tell you to tack it all the way around just because it makes it more Hold, make sure the layers stay together. So if you find these, if you haven't tacked it, or if the layers are separating a bit, because they can do, because the, the stickiness, it doesn't always hold strongly forever, just press it again. So I'm gonna put a pin on the other side, so you can see there's my center pins, there's one. So now I've got my bottom edge divided into four. So we need to now divide the circle into four. I think dividing it into four is enough for something this size. You may find you prefer to divide it into eight because you've got more stabilizing points, which you can do. If you want to divide it into eight, all you do is take the two quarter pins, put them together like that, and then put another pin on the fold. The bigger the piece, the more, pe um, the more you need to divide it into sections just to get it fitting evenly and accurately. But I've worked out the measurements of the circumference of the circle um, compared to the, um, the length of the piece and it will fit round. So fold the, once you've quilted it, fold the base in half and then put a pin. I'll turn around, you can see a bit better. Pop a pin there and there. And then just like you did with the base, Fold it in half so that the pins match up. And then pop a pin in that bottom fold, making sure the pins still match up, and put a pin in the top fold. Now it's divided into four. There we go. So to sew this on, we've now take this. So this is this method you will use when you sew any circle on. Now sometimes when you're sewing a straight edge onto a circular edge to help it flow move around the corners you can put little snips in but I found with this I don't need to do it and I don't know whether it's because of the bows or it's, but it was because it's quite a big circle. The smaller the curve the smaller the circle the more you need to put the snips in. It just helps obviously by snipping into the fabric within the seam allowance, so just under the quarter of an inch, it just helps to open it out a little bit and it will go around the curve. I'm not going to do that, but if you find you struggle with it, then you can do. So 
starting at one of the quarter marks, which is the seam, so I haven't actually placed a, placed a quarter mark pin there, making sure they're right sides facing, obviously, match up the two pin marks. And this is where clips do help. Then move to the next quarter point. Don't pin between them yet, but move to the next quarter point. Match up those pins. And you can pin them if you want to, but I'm going to clip them. Then move to the next quarter point. And then clip those together. And then clip those two together. So now I've got, if you look at it, I've got it stabilized in all four so that means i know that the base is evenly placed around the edge it doesn't matter with sometimes when you're making things it matters which way where the base is exactly because this is a check it doesn't really matter but i know it's nicely stabilized around the edge so what i'm going to do now is clip between the quarter marks so all you do with this i usually work about about an inch and a half because i find it easier if you sort of clip in two or three places and then clip between them. It means that if you've got it s moved over slightly wrong, but you see what I mean? I think because it's got a quite a big curve, I'm not needing to snip. Obviously, the more clips or pins you put in, in a way it's easier to sew because you don't have to adjust anything, but you can see how well this is fitting. And then we do that all the way around. So if you've got an even bigger curve than this, then divide the bottom of the base of the outer into eight and then do the base as well. Match it up in the eight marks. A bit like, just like if you know, if you're making like a circle skirt or something and you're doing pleats, you, d you divide it into sections. But I think because it's a bigger curve, if you find you've got any problems with this fitting, if you find the base is a bit big or whatever, then just make put little snips into it. But for some reason, I think because the, the circle has got quite a big circumference. So just work all the way around like this. I know it's a little bit time consuming, but there's something quite nice about having the circular bottom on this. You know, you can make cube storage, but I quite like the circular storage. There we go. So now I've clipped it pretty much all the way around. I'm now going to sew it. If you've left any pins in, take those out. Now, as I showed you before, it will go through the machine. Right. So this might feel a bit like, oh, there's loads of bulk going on here. You'll have to remove one clip so that you can get in. Always sew with the straight edge on top and the curved edge underneath. That is because the curved edge is going to lie flat anyway. It's the straight edge that you're bending round. It means that you can be sure as you're doing it that everything's fitting correctly. And you might, you know, as you take the pins or the clips out, you might find it moves. The bottom circle won't because that's a flat piece but you might find the top does so by always stitching with the straight edged piece on the top you will get a better finish does that sound like the machines just come unthreaded at exactly the wrong moment in time i for some reason i don't know why this arm is up i know I should have done that at the beginning. Right, bear with. Now I've got to re-thread it. I think maybe because I've got so many layers. Although it went, it went through the main seam, okay. Typical, isn't it? Typical. You know, if I was doing a really simple seam, it wouldn't have come unthreaded, would it? But because I'm doing something a bit more complicated, it does. There we go. Right. So if this happens to you, just re-thread your machine. 
How long have I got? Not long. Um, well, shall I not carry on? I think actually I'm running out of time a bit. So anyway, because I'm running, running out of time, you sew that together all the way around and then turn it right side. That's, that's your bucket outer. And let me show you, because I did actually make the lining in advance since my machine's come threaded. So you do exactly the same with the lining, but with the lining, you haven't got to join any pieces together because the body lining is just one whole piece. It's all on the panel. The base lining is formed of the circle. When you sew the body lining together, the only difference is, is you need to leave a gap in this seam because that's your turning gap. And then you sew the base in place. If I turn this one round, you can see. So just as I was doing with that one, I haven't got time to do now. You sew the base into place all the way round. Um, then you put the two together and sew the handles on. And this is where I was talking to um, Becky earlier about decorative stitches. This is where, if your machine's got a decorative stitch, then use it. Because look at that pretty one that I've got on mine. It's got little leaves coming out of it. So I put that round the edge because you have to top stitch it. But I also sewed it. If you ever need to make handles, put a decorative stitch down them because they're really pretty, aren't they? And then, and then you sew the lining to the top and just turn it inside out. It's a really easy make. But don't worry because because I've made the full video tutorial of the whole thing, then I go through it very, very slowly, step by step. So it's probably easier to watch anyway. So you'll be able to see all of that. Right, so I need to go back to the other desk. So we're going to recap September. So the storage bucket that I've just made, if you want the kit for this, you have full instructions, which includes the details of how to watch the video tutorial. Well, I show you step by step. You also get the whole panel, which has the illustrated version of the flowers, as well as the... Um, informal version and look all the pieces so now you can see all the different pieces that are needed there we go and it's got little charm squares on it as well so that's 17.99 and that's for the instructions and the panel because we've tried to keep it quite affordable because i know a lot of you are collecting all 12 of them to make into the quilt at the end so just 17.99 Right, so when everyone's checked out, there are only nine of these left now. So if you want the September storage bucket. Um, now, if you want any of the others, so all the way from February, March, April, May, June, July, August, um, they are all available on the website. Which one would you like to do? Oh, right, so September charm squares are here. So we have created a charm square panel which has 40 five inch squares, all featuring either miniature versions of the flower arrangements or parts of the print. So you've got some of the gingham, you've got some of the blue hydrangea, you've got some of the asters. Also on the end of it, you've got two gift tags, which you could just use for makes of your own and long hydrangea print all across the top. We've just done September. August. Sorry, my hand is confusing me now. So August was the, well, sunflowers. Love a sunflower. So August was sunflowers. And with this one, we made um, the crossover bag. So you've got the watering can, obviously, filled with sunflowers. That's the image we used on the front. And then on the panel of all the pieces, you've got sunflowers in the back. You've got a nice striped gusset. You've got a sunflower lining. Um, there's even all the fabric pieces to make a pocket. And I've designed it so that the way the strap works is that it comes out of the back on one side and the front on the other. So that if you use it as a crossbody bag, it actually lies flatter across your shoulder like that because of the way the straps come out. So that's August. Um, obviously for the kit, as usual, full instructions. Oh, you've got a picture of the kit there. And the fabric panel as well. Um, we did charm squares for August and they... Where are they, charm squares for August? Ah, thank you, Kat. Cat organised this all and put it all in such a wonderful order. Oh, there it is on there. Do I need to show it? There we go. There's August. So you can see these were featured in the um, Hang Out the Flags quilt. These 
because the August flowers were in there, all the sunflowers. There we go. 45 inch squares. Um, July was this one, wasn't it? Yes. So July was roses. And um, the, the um, design for this, so you've got beautiful vase of all lovely summer roses. But this is actually log cabin. So the way I've um, written the instructions and made it is all of the strips are printed onto the panel. But it's a real beginner's log cabin. So I've explained it in real simple terms. So because you've got a large square in the middle, all of these are log cabin strips. So rather than having, normally log cabin is like dark and light, but what we've got is gone pink and purple. So the, there's the log cabin the purple log cabin one side and the pink and on the um, um, fabric panel are also all the pieces for the back of the cushion as well and then all you do is you sew the front to the back along these seams and it gives it that kind of um, Oxford pillowcase style edge so I know this one was really popular but I think everyone loves roses don't they so that's that kit and obviously as with all of the kits it comes with um, full instructions the panel and video tutorial that's what you get with all of them the um, charm squares so we did charm squares for this again you'll see those are when you were watching the demo before they're in the um, hang out the flags quilt so it's all roses you've got little little vases of roses you've got charm squares of roses and pinks and purples really pretty and there's some little i like the little pink gingham on that one as well okay june was sweet peas i think well did i get that wrong last time June, where's June? There's May, February, March, June's underneath. June was sweet peas. Hey. So oh, I get so confused. So what we I did for this one, this is the buck the drawstring bucket bag. So this little bucket bag, you've got the sweet pea, the um it's like a glass vase of sweet peas on the front, and then you've got handles, and then in order to keep everything inside, it's got one of these drawstring tops with a spring toggle. So that it's really nice. Again, it's quite nice for a project bag because it's got little handles, so it's quite nice to keep um store you storing things. But it's also again a really nice thing to keep small items in like in the bathroom or as a travel bag makes a lovely gift bag i've just used wadding in this but because it's got its round bottom it all holds it into shape but it's really nice for a little gift bag as well and really pretty sweet peas so that's the project again obviously you get the full um, instructions and the panel and again it comes with a video tutorial we also did some charm squares panel for this and now these were used in the hang out the flags quilt behind me because it's summer it was all the summer panels and i love this one i think the miniature versions are really pretty aren't they and on the um the storage bucket you can it's got the these um sweet pea prints all on the inside as well because all the fabric for the outside and the inside because it's fully lined are all on all in there it's really really pretty and then before june was may and may may is over the side may was peonies so this was the um the quilt that's up hanging up here so it's a sort of a mini a mini quilt wall hanging which you could use it's 20 inches square so you could use it for a floor cushion if you wanted but it's got that lovely like a milk jug of um, peonies and cow parsley in it and then I'll show you how to make this flower block so all the print for the flower block including the little um, centers are all on the panel and it's quite good actually once you've learned how to make that flower block that makes a really nice um, border for a quilt so all the pieces of that, including even the um, grey green gingham that goes around the edge and the peony binding is there as well. So 
obviously again you've got full instructions you have a panel and there is a video tutorial so don't worry if you will find it easy to make um, charm squares There we go. So you've got all of the peony prints. You've got that lovely green gingham. It's very, very pretty. I really like this one. I like the deep pinks of it. There we go. And you've got the labels, May. So you can, you know, when you make it, you can sew the labels on if you like. And those labels will also, will use those in the flower shop quilt to put them so they can be sewn underneath each window. So there's the charm squares. Um, April was tulips, that I do remember. So for the tulips, oh, it's got the iPad in it. Clever. So I made, um, it's a tablet case. You could also use it as an art folder as well or for a Kindle, but that's got the tulips on the outside. And then if I open it up on the inside, because you need to see how it works, it's got a little button. There's even the piece on the panel for the covered button it has handles as well so if you open up that then inside you've got a pocket here which you can put your tablet in your ipad or whatever um, and then there's a zip pocket here that you could keep other items so what i thought with this you could keep like the um the charging cable for it or you could keep your earphones and then there's another pocket there so that you can keep some people I know have used it to put like notebooks and pencils, but it's a really nice thing. It will fit all tablets except for the brand new iPads, the sort of the extra, the maxi, the big, big size ones. But other than that, I did make sure it will fit all of them. And all of the pieces for this, so the pocket, the pocket lining, this pocket, the zip pocket, the lining and the handles, they are all on the, on the um, panel. And what I use for the back of the, this one, I use the informal flowers so that you've got that on the, on the back and then you've got the milk churn of tulips on the front yeah we are low very low on stock in that one we are now in our teens for that one um, there is a charm square panel for that one which is here what did i make from that one? Oh, i made that quilt so at the beginning i did make some items from this so this um broken dishes is a specific pattern called broken dishes it's very similar to pinwheel, but slightly moved. I made that using this charm square pan. I didn't do instructions for this was purely for inspiration. So you could see what you could make from a charm square panel. But this is the panel, just because I thought it's quite nice sometimes to see what you can make. There we go. So that's the April. March. So March, I do remember what that one. They're owning. Where is March? I know it's the shop away bag. Where's the good shop away bag gone? <laughs> Cat's got it there. Ah, yes. Yeah, so March is the little shop away bag, which looks just like that in that picture. So on the panel are all the pieces to make that. Um, and the instructions as well but if you want to see it so this is the little bag because you can pop that in your handbag so that looks like the vase and then when you open it up there's the bag so you just keep that in your handbag or wherever you like and then there's the bag so I'm um, with this one You've got the formal flowers, it's a bit creased now obviously, um, on one side and the informal on the other. But if you look at the panel, we did this one, there was space, I remember. If I can find the panel. That's February. Oh, where's March gone? That's the charm squares. Mm, just, I, I've had so many panels on here. I think, oh, it's probably got underneath something else. Where's the March panel? Oh, is that it? No, that's the charm squares. I don't know. Don't know where that's gone. But anyway, um, on the panel, there are, we have 
giving you the pieces the right size you can see the panel there you've actually got three so you've got the front and the back oh there we go we've got the front and the back but also what we did was gave you an extra one on the shelf because there was a bit more space on this one for your quilt so can you see on here there's the bag front and the bag back and obviously you've got all the handles and everything but at the bottom of there there's an extra panel that you can use for your quilt just because you had a bit more space so that's the shop away bag and there's obviously also a charm pack to go with that which um is here charm squares so this is all daffodils charm squares it's all daffodils but mixed with a lot of blue and white china as well there we go and then finally february february so that's just what we started with which may seem odd why did we start in february well because we started it well we decided we would start it with sewing street's birthday just because that was quite a nice time to launch it except that was february so anyway february is all about grape hyacinths snowdrops and crocuses and this is the hourglass cushion so on here they're all the, on the panel all the fabric pieces to make the um hourglass blocks that go all the way around the edge so you can learn how to make those and then there are also the pieces on the panel to make the cushion as well obviously the panel has the this is the f f um the formal flowers and there's informal flowers just like all the others and there is a video tutorial and there is also a charm square panel to go with this one which is here. There we go. So that's um, the February Charm Square panel. Um, hi Rebecca, I absolutely love these panels. Looking forward to completing the whole quilt. Are you going to do a solid recommendation? No, it won't be a solid, you see, because what we'll do is we're going to, if you, this is the finished quilt, well, with the question marks, if you can see that now. The won't, no, because we're going to print a panel, because I think it's really important that you get, that you need, to, because you've got to get, you have to have different colours, so that be, to get that at it, I mean, it might not be exactly like this, that's Amy's, I'm sure she'll change it a bit and fine tune it, it will look mostly like that, but you need different colours to get the effect of the shadow of the attic window, so that it looks like you're looking into the window, so we will sell a panel at the end that just has all the um, sashing and strips and everything to make the finished one. Right, so that's it, but I do have to do October, so... That's, we've got up to September. Next month is October, funnily enough. And it is going to be on the 16th of October, that I do remember. And October is all about, um, <gasps> can't remember the flower now. I do have the sample, but I'm looking at it and trying to remember what the flower is. Right, so for, I've forgotten that. And do you know why? Because for the first time, I've used the informal flower arrangement for the front. It's not... Um, yeah, it is. I'm rubbish at flowers. What do you think it is? Hmm? No, there's a main... Yeah, if you... know. Oh! Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, message in if you can remember what the flower is. If Amy's watching, she'll remember. There's a whole mixture of flowers, but the main flower is some, I think it might be Cosmos. Possibly. Yes, I will be. Anyway, so what it is, shall I show you what it is? It's a block keeper. Because we did, when we did our last um, flower for, um, block of the month, we gave away a block keeper pattern, but different to this. And I thought, actually, everyone needs a block keeper, so let me show you how it works. So you put your flower in the middle, it can be the formal or in the informal. You've got all of the pieces, there's loads of pieces on this. And then it's got a magnetic clasp. And then all you'd have to do is buy yourself a brushed cotton sheet, which I did, and then you have pages in it. 
Oh, look, there's the form. That's the formal one. So you can choose whether, in a pumpkin, obviously, you can choose whether you put the formal or the informal on the front of it. And it's got lots of pages, so you can keep all your fabric pieces or your blocks nice and safe inside. I couldn't decide which one. I think it is Cosmos. I think I've remembered that now. And Rudbeckia. It looked different on that. So there we go. That will be next month and that will be on the 16th of October. Anyway, we're going to have a break now. I'm going to tidy up a bit and I'll be back with you um, in a few minutes time with Becky who is waiting to show you the best of Rebecca Alexander Frost. I will see you back here in a few minutes time. Oh. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, 
interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Okay. Uh, welcome back to Sewing Street. Sorry, I'm just reaching over. Um, welcome back to Sewing Street. So this hour is all about uh, Becky and her amazing kits. There's so <laughs> many of them. I've been doing it for a long I time. I cannot believe how many you've done. I know, I know. I it's know. fab though, isn't it? Because they're all gorgeous and all <laughs> wonderful. You. So we have got, we've bought in some special clasps. Now, the first time we had them, they were actually, look at this. So it's a little lock clasp opens up look so it does two things it locks it up and it's gorgeous little bird so they were well they are in the kits for the maple bag so many of you love them so many messaged in <coughs> and they all said where do you get those from i want one of those they are lovely so we have actually got them available on their own for the first time and not only have we got them available on their own we've got them in different colors so let's start with Silver. I was just seeing what colour that was on there, but I think that might be gold. So what you get in the thing, you get the little clasp, and then you get then you get the other bit. I'm not going to take it all out, but you get the back plate, you get the bit that goes on the inside, and then you get the outside as well. So now if you're I'm going to show you in a moment after we've done these, I am going to show you the bundle for the kits. You do get one of these in there, so don't worry. But if you want one on its own, first time ever, <coughs> the silver bird bag lock 4.99 are they easy to put in becky yeah i did um i actually demonstrated one last time I was oh doing okay it, so i can't remember what date that was august we'll get the date but yeah. easy enough easy yeah. okay so this is the silver one it's very shiny silver as well look at little bird there we go right next one gold that is the one that's on here isn't yeah. it yeah yeah the loads and loads of these, I have to say, have sold on pre-order. I'm not surprised. So well done if you've got them. There's the gold one. It's quite a 
um, light gold. It's not a it brassy is. gold, is it? No, it's it's really light. Most of the um, the ones in those locks are light. It's a sort of quite a pretty gold, so you're not yeah. like too much brassy. But it's really pretty. And again, obviously, it comes with. I'll, I'll open this up and show. Um, never had these before, so it comes with. I have to be very careful you don't lose the screws because it comes with little screws that hold it all in place but that the the bit that sticks out let me show you on here this bit that sticks out that that's gold as well obviously and then it has the back plate for that as well so you will have all of that in the little bag just 4.99 and it do you know what it's bag hardware like this that takes your bag to that sort of professional level it really does you know having things like this if you saw a bag in a shop with that sort of class one that's what would attract you to it and you could get that 499 so that's the gold one and we have one more colorway bronze yeah i would say bronze so this is the other colorway bronze so it's darker than the gold yeah, it's more of a matte finish, but it is bronzy. It's, and it's actually got a name for it. It's brush antique bronze. Oh, antique yeah. bronze. Brush, oh, brush. brush yeah, I see bronze. what you mean, because it isn't as shiny as no, the others. No, no. Yeah, I, that's a much better description. <laughs> Brushed antique bronze. And obviously the little bit that comes, the bit that sticks out through is the same colour as well. So these are all 4 99 each, and this is the first time that we've ever been able to offer them individually without them being in a kit but that is gorgeous isn't it it's worth taking the clasp off your bag and replacing it with this <laughs> really? well. Might have to um, unpick some areas. Yeah, but hey. <laughs> but hey, we can but do hey. it with sewers. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, if you make to sell, how, much, how special does this make something look? And gifting. It is, you know, when you're gifting, if you've made, you think you're going to make somebody a bag, I mean, to give them this. So, you know, you could just put a little magnetic snap on the inside of a bag, but no. Put a little bird clasp on. Next level, that is. Next level poshness. So those are, they are all available individually. I'll just leave them there so I don't lose any screws. Right, we've also got kits to make the maple bag. Look at that, nice little handbag. It's not little actually, is it? Nice good size handbag. Beautiful, isn't it? So this colourway is this one. So in the kit, obviously, you get full instructions. You, funnily enough, get a bird class. This one is the brushed antique bronze. No, it's actually gold. Oh, is that one gold? Yeah, they're in. Um, they're actually in um, matte bags. Oh, I yeah. see. So right. Isn't that? F oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, it looks. Yeah, I can see it now. It does look. <laughs> but it is gold. So this gets. You've got all the hardware. So you've got the bird clasp. You've got the. Are these what are they called? D. They're not D rings. They're are they? edge. Um, edge anchors. Edge anchors. Yeah. Um, edge anchors. I've never heard of those. We will talk to Becky in a moment. But these edge anchors, which posh D rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get those, um, and you get a zip. Uh, we are already on single figures for this one. You get a zip for the inside pocket. It has that. Then you get the PU. Oh, this is just, this is so professional. You get a, a fat quarter of each of these PUs. So you've got black, you've got, it's like a silvery grey and a silver. Um, steel, isn't it? Steel, that's yeah, that's better. Yeah. yeah, so the strap is in steel and the base, and the, str and the base, and then the stripes are in black and silver. And you get lining as well, a meter of the grey cotton for the lining. So you get three very specialist pieces of. of heart. Is there anything else you'd need? No, no, no. Apart from the glue, that I'm just going to show okay. you how to install it. So you're getting three. Three very specialist pieces of bad bag hardware. You're getting the PU that is beautiful and soft. And there are only eight of this colourway left. Just saying. <laughs> right, I'll, the next colourway, I'll do the one that you've got actually, yeah. Becky. So this colourway, which is the burgundy colourway. Again, you get the full instructions. You get the gold bird and the edge clasps. <laughs> I 
Fourth of August was the full demo. And Becky's going to show you a few bits from it. Um, so Becky's got that this bag here. This is called what's it? What colourway is this called? Do do do. Pink tonal. So the PU's in this is you've got like a burgundy yep. wine colour, yep. and then you've got the the pink. This pink. Yeah. They're both metallic as well. Yeah, this is got really meta beautiful metallic. And yeah. then you've got another pink, and I presume that's used for the base. base. And I would have used it for And for the handle. Yeah. So that's beautiful, isn't it? It is. And, you, and then you get a pale pink, a metre of the pale pink for the lining. So you're getting the full instructions, three pieces of beautiful metal hardware. You've got the zip. You've got these three. I've not seen these colours before. No, I think the, the, the actual metallics are new. They're the gorgeous, ones. aren't they? I love the stripe on this, it's so elegant. Right, and then we have one more colourway. And then this one, again, obviously you get the pattern, you get the hardware, you get the zip. And then, oh, wow. So you get your matte black, and then you get gold, and then you get this gorgeous bronze. So I guess you can choose. Yeah. What you put where. So you could do those as stripes and that's the bottom. Yep. Yep. Or you could do those as stripes and, that and the that's bottom. the bottom. Yep. Because you've got the same amount of each. But look at those, that beautiful bronze metallic and the gold metallic. That's so lovely. I'm thinking Christmas party season. Definitely. Christmas shopping. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a lovely for a gift with that gold um, bird on it. I think this one might be my favourite. And a metre, of the, a half metre of the black, and then you get a metre of biscuit, which is used for the lining. Wow. So, I'm gonna come over to you with my bag. <laughs> I'll take my bag. Right, okay, so people have been asking me to show you how to install those. Oh! Because they're mm. a bit worried about installing them. They're really These special easy. posh D-rings. <laughs> D-rings. Rectangle rings. <laughs> they're not D-rings, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> but they look a bit... But they, they do that job, but they're way posher. Yeah, they are, yeah. Um, you're going so to need show you. Oh, hang on, yeah. I need to see. So this is where they go. So are these attached as soon as you finish the bag? Yep, once you finish the bag, but you will need some um, Gatorman. And they come, in, glue. they come in the kit, so don't worry, but... I suppose the good thing about this is that you haven't got to do it while you're doing the bag. No, 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 exactly. And sometimes people find if they're sewing in rectangle rings, like a tab on the yes. side, it's too bulky. Yeah, because you've got seam. Yep, and, and seams there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's like four there, isn't there? Four seams. So you will need some um, solvent glue. Okay. Which you've got on your website. We've got that one. So four ninety nine is a solvent textile glue. Yep. Yeah, so it's ideal. Why? Why that one then? Um, I, I've just only ever used this one. Really? I, I've never, never ventured out. What does I it? I know it doesn't set off my asthma, so I'm, I'm, ho I'm okay with it. That's good. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, I just no, never ventured out. And what out. do you use it for? Is it for any textiles? Um, you can use it for any textiles, putting metal to mm. fabric, um, or you can do it if your trainers are falling apart. My trainers were falling apart. Yeah. Way. Brand new pair of trainers, and you know where the um, the base is, and you got yes, the, the yeah. side canvas. I just put a bit down there, stuck it on. It's wow! Because I, I sometimes later. put mine in the washing machine, and that yeah. happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> so very that. good for mending trainers that you've had to put <laughs> in the washing machine. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you can use it for quite a lot of stuff. So yeah. Brilliant. So shall I go ahead? Yes. And install? So show us how that works. Right. Okay. So if you feel your seams are quite bulky. You will need a, um, sorry about the, the packaging noises, sorry. <laughs> you can you'll have need, the packaging noises. You'll need something like to roll it out. So all I do is get a seam roller and just really hammer it or press it down. And you're basically crushing the fibres. So it makes it so nice. you can't. So it doesn't work by ironing it. Then you have to do this. Yeah, because we've used PU, so right. you just don't want to. So I'm just going to crush those down. It's not doing any damage whatsoever. And then the next thing you're going to do is you've got two holes on the back, and then it's playing on the front. The two holes go on the inside, and you just pop that over just to make sure it fits perfectly. 
So you need it to fully go down to the oh, bottom of better. the channel. Oh, that's better. You can see if you've like, yeah, that's better. So you need to make sure it's gone fully down. Once you're happy with that, you're going to take it off. And then you're going to run some beads of glue right into that channel. Ah. So this has got quite, mine's a bit gogged up. I can see it. But mine's a bit gogged up, but you can get the... Oh, so it goes right inside, just to the bottom? Yeah. So you just need a little bit in there. If you get some on the metal, try and wipe it off straight away. And then you're just going to feed that over. And you're doing that over the centre seam, over the two side seams. Once you're happy with that and it's gone, the, the top is mm. gone to the top of the channel, you're going to flip it over, squash that down and get your screws and screw it into place. Okay. And then you've got to wait 72 hours for it to properly set. <laughs> because if you're anything like me and you overfill your bags, you don't want to um, these to fall off. So. Yes, yeah, so I guess the screws, do they secure it? Yeah, they've got a nice little sharp dagger and they go all the way down into all the fibres and it come out on the opposite side, but you won't see it. Oh, okay. But you still need to wait 72 hours for the glue to set. It says 72 hours. You probably use it after 24 hours. Right. I, yeah. But you don't want to risk that, though. I think no. I'd go 72. Yeah. So the screw sort of is... I think it's quite... I'd feel better the fact that it's got screws in it as well. Yeah. It feels like that's really secure in them. And it's that professional look as well. It is, yeah. And really, really go tight with those screws so it really pierces all those fabric pieces. And then you, that's how you do those, um, and you will do it on the opposite side. Shall I do the other one? Yeah, go on then. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure it fits before I put the glue in. Always make sure it fits before you put the glue in. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you've put some glue on the bag and it gets, um, it dries, Yeah. it means that you can't get it on, so that's a bit, still a bit bulky. Oh, I see, so this is where you sort of hammer it a bit more. Yeah. Or seam roll it or yeah. hammer it. I don't want to use a hammer, but I would normally use a hammer. Oh, right. So if you were at home, yeah. you would just hammer it. Yeah, I would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go then. Take my frustration out. <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah. I guess as long as you're not hammering the PU side. Yeah, you won't indent mm. the PU. And then that just sort of squ really squashes everything. It does, okay. yeah. So once again, just a few beads at the top of the channel, but inside. Mine's really gunked up. It doesn't <laughs> even close properly no more. And you really want to squash it down so it goes. I think that's down. lovely because that does look like a very professional bag, doesn't it? I mean, these with the clasps. It does, yeah. But then I love the stripes. I think the stripes and the top stitching are gorgeous. That's all in the pattern, so mm. it, it's definitely in the part of the pattern. I've got a bag coming out soon um, that you basically. Um, choose how it looks. So you um, just get three fat quarters and you actually make the outside. And oh, you have wow. to make it to a certain size. What, so, like patchwork? Yeah, but in oh, PU. Cool. So it means that no bag is the same. Oh, nice. Apart from the, the shape. Yes, but you choose what you'd make it look like. What, how fab, when's that coming out then? Um, or is it still in production? It, <laughs> It's um, gone to the printers, but oh, I'm not 100% okay. sure if you've got it on my next show, so... Oh, it's gone to the printers, so it's finished being <laughs> developed. Yeah. I think that's such a good idea, but I love this. I think it's really smart. I like the PU because it's nice and soft. It's easy to use as well once you've got a um, stabiliser on the back of it. Okay, and then mm. those are nice and tight in. And then obviously you will make your strap. Do you want me to make the short strap? Or um, have we got time for that, Hannah? No, we no, haven't got time for shoulder yep. strap. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's easy. And last time I taught a trick on how to put the base in with mm. a stapler. Oh, okay. So you're not sewing, like you, you still have to sew it, but a stapler will help, especially with the curves and that. Sort oh, of it's so to sort of position it yeah. and then you sew it. Yeah. 4th of August, so if you get one of these kits and you want to watch Becky's show back, obviously where she demonstrates even more of it, 4th of August. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, which one are we going to do next? I'm moving back to the other desk. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> oh, she's coming I with me. I haven't got that one. 
to demonstrate. No, you've got to come and talk to me uh, about it. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> it's yeah, but you know lots. the answers to all of the questions, <laughs> okay. which I don't know. <laughs> so we've got some stills here of the quilt, the tic-tac-toe. Now, we've got bundles as well as instructions on their own. So we'll go with 4th of August. So tell me about the quilt. So this is instructions on their own, 9 99 A lot of people like two block quilts because they're quick and easy to do right. because then you basically get into a rhythm of just making one block and then moving on to the second block okay but it looks more than two blocks right well it no it does it looks like one block with lines between it yeah yeah but it's two blocks it's two blocks fantastic so i i can imagine the instructions are amazing so pictures. full instructions yeah a lot of pictures <laughs> Well, a lot of people as well wouldn't know because quilts is a more recent thing for you. Yeah, well, it isn't recent. I've been quilting since I was a yes. child, but people think that I've always been a pattern Yeah, maker. but more recent for us to no, know about yeah. you. Um, so I'm an old-fashioned traditionalist, so all of my quilts are shapes rather than, you know, square upon square and then you sew down the two yes, sides. Yes, yeah. All mine are actual shapes. So that's the good thing about it. It tells, it goes back to the old traditional way. Right. Because that's how I was taught by my mum. We used to cut out pieces of paper because quilters rulers weren't back out in, when exactly. I was eight or nine. No. And we used to sew shapes together. So on the sewing machine, mm. not by hand. Obviously. <laughs> but yeah. So this is the uh, the idea behind it. I think it's beautiful. So we've got it available in two colourways. So I'm going to go for the, I think the one that's on the cover is this one yeah, isn't it the so the you get oh, these are lovely aren't they so these are all these um single figures on there there's these blender, blenders but more of a marbled effect yeah. so you get how many of these do you get loads yeah 14. so the idea is you separate four um seven mm. of cold and then seven of warm oh okay so you've got the warm patches right and then so you, you go sort of all right so they're cold that's warm warm okay so then the the chains yeah, are in cold, cold and then the blocks it's absolutely gorgeous love that oh i think that one might be in that one anyway <laughs> so you get 14 fat quarters and they're not plays i mean they're beautiful 100 percent cotton but yeah. they've got more of a marbled they give look. it a texture finish it's yeah a nice finish but it's actually. nice it gives you a, there's a bit more movement than if you have plain and then you get black so you get a lot of this, four and a half metres of black, and that's used all for the background of yep. the quilt. So what's the finished size? 72 by 72. Okay, so a nice double bed size. Yeah, well, yeah. Double bed 72, yeah, yeah. is it? Yeah. I thought it was 82. Well, that's big, <laughs> big. We must have a big bed then. Yeah. <laughs> or king size bed. You can get a 72 will fit onto yeah, a double. Yeah, Oh, so the price for this is 69.99. But we're having a little reduction as Yay. it's special Becky Day. Ten pounds reduction. Fifty nine ninety fifty nine ninety nine. You get four and a half meters of black fabric. And this isn't any old black fabric. This is your Rose and Hubble quilt and weight cotton. Beautiful. You're getting fourteen fat quarters and you get the pattern. Amazing. For just fifty nine ninety nine. That is a beautiful quilt. 4th of August was the date that Becky demonstrated the quilts and there was only six of this colourway remaining. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it is. There will be a little bit of fabric left over so you can actually um, do a patchwork binding. Right. So you can sew strips together. Okay. And keep the colour theme going. Yeah. So if you think 72 inches is six foot and yep. a double bed is four foot six. Yeah. So you've got 18 inches, yep. nine inches drop like lovely. Right. One more. So this is completely different colourway. It is, and I never thought of doing it in light. Um, it was um, Jess that said I would oh, do right. a light version. I love that. Yeah, because I only designed it around black fabric. Oh, the okay. Dark fabric. It's so beautiful, it is isn't nice. it? Yeah. So the background is cream. Yeah. Yeah, that's cream. So the background is cream, and then you again you divide it what into blues and purples. Yeah, or um, darks and lights. Or darks and lights. Yeah. And look, let me just show you the colours. So it depends if you like the, you know, the really sort of black, dramatic look. But if you fancy the plainer cream look. I mean, I think $59.99 for a double bed quilt. Extremely affordable. 
Well, yeah, do you know what? I mean, even if you want, even if you wanted to swap a few of your fabrics into this, and you wanted to use some of your prints in it, it would look lovely, wouldn't it? But look at how lovely that palette looks. Yeah. Across, and then you get the pattern. So if you imagine that with that colour palette, that is stunning. And particularly, you know, if if you've always wanted to make a quilt, but you're not sure about the expense of it, to be able to pay just fifty nine ninety nine is yeah, amazing. amazing you isn't can't it? you can't buy the fabric for that because if you work it out, there's like fourteen fat quarters, and then there's 4.5 so 14 yes yeah, so you've got like seven and a half meters, meters seven and a half meters for 60 pounds yeah. and a pattern as well which and a is pattern a as well. normally yeah so. that's a, an amazing value <laughs> and it, what was that <laughs> we both turned around and went oh! <laughs> i think something might have just fallen somewhere, somewhere. we'll just ignore that <laughs> anyway so that's the tic-tac-toe quilt um and we've also got if you want the pattern on its own we do have that as well if you want to just use your own fabric just nine ninety nine. Um, this is the right the original colorway. So the black colorway that in the kit we've only got four of those left. So fifty nine ninety nine. The one that's the one that's in this colorway in the black. Yeah. There are only four of these remaining in the black. Right. We're going to go back again. Do the backpack now. <laughs> You see, because Kat's got so much to put out. She has to come and do yours, do mine. <laughs> and this, this one? Yeah, the Bitsy. The Bitsy bag. I love this. Yeah, it's really nice, but there is actually two designs. Oh, so, okay. Um, on the back, no, we only ever, ever had the sample of the one right. design. Right, are we talking about the instructions? Yeah, so in the instructions Haven't you get... Haven't we got the hardware? Oh yeah, hang on, it's coming. Yeah. So in the instructions, you actually right. um, get a two-strap finish, which is this one, yes. which goes over both shoulders, or you get a sling bag option. Oh. So it just goes over one shoulder and comes out on the other side, so you can bring it round. Oh, I see. To when you're in the city, you can just... Yes, yeah, because I always my handbag is always a backpack. Yeah, and Don't... it's always on the front when you go How does that city. work, then? Um, <laughs> well, it's different on... It's, it's... it's a different strap system, so if you uh, get it out, okay. So it's just a totally different. So this is system. like your backpack thing. Yeah. So it's a it's basically a single strap system. Mm. That goes on the back. <laughs> oh, it's my back. It goes on the back, I and see. then you're obviously with your left or right. Yeah. I'm a right person, so I want my strap to come out on that side. So I would install it that side. So it just cross bodies then. Yeah. So that's a really good idea i love a backpack me too so this so for 23 pounds we've got the hardware as well so the main features of this bag obviously you've got the two strap system you've got um <coughs> the double slider zip yep. you've got pockets inside you've got a zip on the outside gorgeous fabric as well so in the one with the hardware oh there's loads in here yeah loads right so in the here because I love bag hardware. Oh, so you get a bit of this. Now this, I love this zip because mm. it looks metal. But it isn't. It's nylon. I know. That's you amazing. You can sew through it. You can cut through it. You can even singe it with the lighter mm. to seal the ends. So that's the zip that goes across the top. And this is a number five, so it's a bit easier. It as is well. the easiest. Yeah, I'm with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I could do number five. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then. So you get the, the D rings, you get you the get step. all the hardware to do the two strap system, but oh, you can wow. actually do the, the one strap right. system by just using And you part put the of two it. zip pulls on. Yeah. This is brilliant because I always think twenty third of February because I love this about a backpack particularly, is that you need to, is to have the two zips so you don't have to open the whole yeah, thing exactly, or also yeah. feels a bit more secure, but because this is a continuous zip you can put the zip slides on different ways and both of those are in there and i like these it's quite nice that's sort of a quite a special finish isn't it to have a nice zip slider yeah, on there i have a little um little padlock that i put on top of mine oh do you yeah i'm really like strange in the city i really <laughs> go like proper lockdown yeah, like, oh my God. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> you should just put your coat over your bag completely <laughs> <laughs> like I do in the airport, and they go, I don't have any bags, just the one. <laughs> yeah. The other one is under my coat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that's gorgeous and it's all in there and i think it i think it's worth having because it's this stuff it's these bits well i know that's why a lot of you say well i can't find that and i can't find this and and it's getting exactly the it right is, thing yeah. so for 23 pounds you can have the pattern and all the hardware all you have to do is provide your own fabric and i'm sure you've got some of that I think we've all got plenty. Uh, do we need anything special in terms of interfacing yeah so you need either bosal foam single-sided right um You'll definitely need packs of interfacing or Vaseline um, foam, but it's got to be the single-sided fusible. Okay. You can even, if you're a beginner and you want to make it, don't use the foam, use H640, because I okay. say that in the pattern, it's just the same instructions. Right. Um, and you'll need some webbing, um, which is this. Here. Okay. And then pre-made um, bias binding. Oh, for the inside? Yeah. 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 So that's all you really need. Perfect. Um, anyway, all of that is in the instructions. It says on the back everything that you need to make, whether it's a mini backpack or whether you're making it as a sling, sling bag. bag. Yeah. It's a great idea. Yeah. Love that. So that's £23. Uh, but if you want just the instructions and you don't want all the hardware, then we have got that as an extra option. The bitsy bag. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. 1350 is just the instructions on their own if you just want those to make this gorgeous backpack love a backpack okay right the bag in front of you next the makers crafters tote the makers crafters <coughs> right tell me about the makers crafters tote um jess came to me and says i want a bag with no hardware and it needs to be craft related. Went, <gasps> no hardware. No hardware. No. Gosh, <laughs> I'm, done no, a I'm sorry. No I'm sorry. Find someone else. <laughs> I passed out. Yeah. Um, no. And she goes beginner, beginner-ish friendly. So, but it is beginner friendly. It's very easy, and there is hardly any bulk in it on the seams because you cut away the foam and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. My mom's my mom's got a mitten in hers, and it's got lots of pockets. Yeah, it has got a lot of pockets. So, do you use single-sided bosal for this? Yeah, or um, Vaseline or Vaseline. Right, and it tells you what you need. So, you need a metre of outer fabric, half a metre of contrast, one and a quarter metre of lining, two metres of medium weight iron-on interfacing, and a metre of single-sided fusible foam. Yeah, you can do it with fusible fleece if you want to. It's exactly the same as structure. Yeah, so it depends how structured you want yeah, it to be. Exactly. You could do it with nothing if you didn't want any yeah, structure exactly. at all. Yeah, exactly. No, and then it means that it can be folded away and put in the suitcase yeah. and that. But look, I mean, I'll give you a quick flick just so you can see what you get. Look, all the photos. Pattern templates. Look. There's no... Oh, sorry. There's no thought at all. You don't have to do any thinking. Because look, all the templates, yep. all there, loads of them. I mean, look at the value for money. Lots and lots of photos, because that's the important bit, isn't it? Having all of these photos and all of that information. You, just so you can see like how the clips work around yeah, the edges. Exactly, yeah. It's fantastic. So this is a really good bag for a beginner. And I mean, like Becky was saying, you know, you could start it off with no interfacing, no foam. Yeah, Let's have a look around the bag. I'm going to take its tough, soft toy filling out. So you've got pocket on the front. Yep. And nice rounded same bottoms. Pocket on, the back. pocket on the back. So this is good for, I mean, if, like you say, for your knitting, for crafting, yeah. but it's also quite good for a picnic, for so yeah, shopping. Yeah, I was, was going to say, or if you've got needles, like um, knitting needles, yeah. you can actually separate these pockets off, oh, can't wow. you, and put yes, your needles. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, and and it's got, got, look. And the slip pockets inside, I say in the instructions, you can divide it up how you want. So right. you can leave it as one large one to put your patterns in on the side mm. or something. So it's totally up to you. Oh, that's true. Or if you were not going to use it for crafting, but you wanted to use it for shopping, you know, you could put bottles in here, couldn't yeah. you? Mm -hmm. But it's a nice, it's a lovely gifting bag, isn't it? It is, yeah. And if you didn't use any foam and that in it, you can definitely use it as a, um, a quick bag to take to the beach. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, it only would just fold up quite yeah. easily, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like case. I like the fact it's got these nice curved bottoms. It makes it a little bit more unusual, and that it's wider at the bottom. Yep, yeah, it is. Yeah, it goes fatter. Yes. <laughs> wider. <laughs> it goes fatter. Fatter. That's like me. <laughs> well, there's so much thought behind Becky's bags. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, they're not just like, oh, well, it's a bag. You know, there's a lots of thought behind them and lots of testing. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. When was this one? 
of seventh of March. Yeah, I was about to say earlier on in the year. Oh, yeah, seventh <laughs> yeah, of March to be more precise. <laughs> but it is. I, th I think it's an appealing shape. It is. Yeah. And, and it's not like some of the other craft ones where they're like just square. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now I love the curves on it. I think it's really lovely. But you know, you can make it if you're making it for yourself. Obviously, you'll personalise it as to what you're going to do with it. You might use it for your craft. You might not. And if you're making it as a gift for somebody, you can use a fabric that they love. Embroidery machine. Oh yeah. 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 Embroidery machine. Yeah, nice to personalise. You got stripes on yours. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do say you can. Um, patchwork it and oh whatever, yeah that's true so. yes yeah, so you could actually use like for these pockets on the front you could do a patchwork block yeah. couldn't you yeah but or keep it simple just keep it really simple but yeah. it's gorgeous i love that one so that's the instructions for that one 1350 when you see how many templates and all the patterns and actually it's a pattern that you are going to use over and over again and uh, the angel policies you can make to sell oh yes yeah, so They'd go down well, wouldn't they? I yeah. wouldn't want to sell them, to be honest, though. Oh, no. <laughs> well, gee, I'd make that thing. I'll keep that, then. <laughs> Thank you. Completely different. Completely different. We're moving on to pandas. Yay. Let me just put him over here. I'll put that one down here. Sorry. It's OK. Right. So here's the panda. That well, I'll show you the kits the in a moment. Studio. Hmm? That was in the old studio. Was it? No yeah, way. The one over the road. <laughs> 21. Wow. He's lovely, isn't he? 23rd of December. What were you doing in on the 23rd of December? Should have been Christmas in. <laughs> I, <know>. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were thinking, what am I doing here on the 23rd? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't have the kids at Christmas because obviously we're sharing with their, their actual mom. So I don't mind coming in. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to cook. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine then. So the, this is the panda. He's lovely. Now, we've got various options on him, haven't we? So the... All oh, right. This one is... Oh, that's one is with fabric and one with without. So if you... So with the fabric button one, this is the fabric, 39.98. This gives you all the instructions. It gives you the joints as well. And which the is eyes. Why he moves, yep. isn't it? Yeah, he moves and, yeah. Yeah, and obviously do think about the age range of him, but yeah. you know, you you will know what age you're given to and whether it's suitable. So you've got the joints, but you've got the eyes and you've got the fabric. So he's made from a beautiful like velvet soft. Yeah, it's a stretch piece. velvet. Yeah. It's really soft, isn't it? Yeah, it's it it will mould. Um so I, I basically say get a lint roller next to you. So oh, okay. yeah, when you're actually working. Just so you can get it off you, because if you're like me, I don't like having lint all the on bits. Me. Yeah, but then he's got pu paws and feet. and feet. Yeah, and you can do what one person did. She actually put cardboard in there, and then she put loads of beans, and he actually stands up. Her stood up. Oh wow! Yeah, so because she, she put cardboard or plastic canvas, yeah. it actually stood up as well. Oh, so, he's gorgeous, yeah. isn't he? So that's um, got everything in it. So thirty nine ninety eight, and you get everything: the instructions, the joints, and the fabric. Yeah. I love him. I love him. He's yeah. so soft. Yeah. Um, then we have um, just the instructions and the joints and the eyes, but no fabric. So you'd have to provide your own. But if you want to, you know, you might. What could you use for him? You can him? use anything. Um, what I am going to say is with cotton now, interface it, but keep it out of the seams. So you know how you trim back interfacing, um, yes. like quarter of an inch. Just do that. But you can actually use cotton fabric as well. Oh, OK. Yeah. Or fleece. Yeah, you can use fleece. We did that with the fox. We used a, just a standard fleece. Mm -hmm. um, you can use um, Shannon fabric if you wanted to. You know, oh, okay. Yeah, so you could make him in like K facet, super yeah. bright mad panda, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Or if someone's passed away and you've got some of their clothes. Oh, it's yeah. a memory panda. Yeah, especially if they liked pandas. Yeah, as well. that's lovely. Because yeah. there's lots of different pieces to him, so you could use. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, you could make him a right patchwork panda. You could. Couldn't Someone you? actually made him out of stretch PU. So you know your PU that you sell. It's actually got. A, it's yes. a fashion way, yeah. isn't it? So it's got a stretch. Someone actually made one in that wow and i was i was shocked that it could be made but um i said was it thick and she goes no it's the sewing street pu oh, so, okay yeah oh i think he, i think yeah needle cord would be nice that's a good idea Hannah. yeah but i think cord. it'd be lovely patchwork every single piece different color yes <laughs> so it'd be like super bright panda 
Um, so you get all templates in here then, and they're all the correct size. They are the correct size. Fantastic. What's the what, Hannah? Oh, what's your seam allowance? Seam allowance varies in this, so oh, please varies. read the instruction. Otherwise, you, you won't... Or we won't end up 14 inches no. tall, end up all No, sort. it's mainly the face where you're sewing around the patches and right. stuff. Because you have to like, not stretch it, but you have to like get quite a lot of pins in that area and you can then do like a quarter of an inch around that area. Oh, uh, okay, so it just varies. Yeah. So um, these are all the instructions. I'm not going to show but it tells you all of this, but you've got all the pattern pieces in here. Which have to be traced off, yeah. You have to chase them off, but that's because you want to use them again. Yeah. But look at all the photos, you know, really detailed. Exactly how to sew his ears and his eyes and his feet. I mean, this really is. If you haven't done toy making before, this will be really good stuff because it's it's so in depth. Yeah, I mean, take your time, but that's the whole process of it. You're supposed to enjoy doing this. Yeah. I, just, I mean, it might. You might think, oh, joints. It's a bit serious. No, Are they they're, really, they're really easy. So with this fabric, I do suggest where the joints are going to go, you need mm. to stabilise it. So um, in the pattern, I say use some craft glue with some fusible fleece. Fuse the fleece with some craft glue. The craft glue makes it hard and stiff. Oh, okay. And then you cut your hole through, and then basically they're easy. Oh, wow. And then you've got, with these, you've got a free part. So you'll get um, uh, that one. Yep, so... Those. So that one will go in one part of the body, and then this and that one will go on the other part. So it, then you can oh, get the rotation. See, and that's how they rotate. Yeah, and then you click it down. So you do have to put a bit of force down, mm. but it does click really easy. But once it's clicked into place, they don't come off. And that's brilliant, isn't it? As well, yeah. but it makes it a real proper toy, it does, doesn't yeah. it? And yeah. then you've got the eyes in here, and that's nice because it's that ex that extra addition, isn't yeah. it? I think that's great because, like you say, if you haven't done it before, whether you want to make a traditional panda or a mad patchwork bear yeah, panda, exactly. you can do what you like. But actually, once you've got the instructions, then you can make more make of them. More, yeah. But I do, I think putting the joints in. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you wanted to make another one, you haven't got the joints, you just have to sew them together. Yeah, yeah, you can do. You can do buttons. Yeah, that's true. You know, the true. two button tricks. You can do a button inside and a button on the outside, and it, then it's still well Okay, right. so you could do that if you made another one once you've used yep. all your joints up. Well, I think he's gorgeous. Thank you. I absolutely love him. Which one are we... Oh, the bag next to you next. Oh, sorry. Bags. So what's this one called? The Queenie. Yeah. Why is this one called Queenie, then? Um, it was to do with, you know, the Queen when she was um, Jubilee, not Jubilee, but the one before Jubilee, um, she's had a celebration. This is quite old as well. Diamond? It? Yeah, diamond. Yeah, yeah not the was, platinum. Yeah, not the platinum. Um, so basically it's this was this 2001? One, yeah, it reminds me of something that the, the Queen would carry around. Oh, yeah. Well, back then, <laughs> before she passed away, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yes, because it's, it's lovely. It's she always had an A-line bag. Right. Did you not notice? No one noticed. No. She always had an A-line bag. Did she? Yeah. I always noticed. I always look at people's oh, bags. Oh, do you? I stalk. Gosh. <laughs> My really? husband always has to drag me away when I'm shopping. <laughs> Looking at people's bags. Yeah. And is that what this is? Yeah, so, it's an a -line. Oh, like an A-line skirt. So yeah. it goes, yeah. okay. So she I always had an A-line. Always. Whenever she was caught by the camera, yeah. it was always an A-line bag. bag. How yeah. funny. I know, so that's what made me... <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> and that's why I said, oh, it's the Queen. 25th of August 2001 was when this was originally demonstrated. Very limited, though, I'm afraid. It's also been demonstrated Is by... the pattern for both of them? It's actually free. Oh, okay. That's oh, set. Free. set. Yeah, it's a set. So um, this bag and the other bag are the exactly the same construction, apart from it's just different um, connectors. Mm. So, yeah. Um, Emily also demonstrated it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that is a very queen-length handle is, as well, yeah. isn't it? Then over the shoulder <laughs> with that, is it? <laughs> it is. It's just through That's there, a, isn't it? It is. <laughs> That's, yeah. that's how she used to carry it. Yeah. That's why she didn't want a long strap. No. Couldn't put that she in was your short shoulder. like me yeah. and you. So she just had it like that. Yeah, she's definitely, I I love that. And so it's got, I love the hardware, it's gorgeous. It's got your D-rings and your clasps. I bet there's a pocket in here. 
No, there is. Yeah, I almost said there's no, no pocket, pocket Becky. What is going is. on? But of course there's a pocket. No, there's only slip pockets, I think. And then. Sent £13.50 for the um, Queenie bag set. So basically, all the instructions, that is meaty. When you think you're getting um, all the patterns in there, um, I noticed this one uses a bit of Decaville. Yeah, it's the... Um, the flap. The flaps. Yep. Yeah, yeah, both of those flaps have got Decaville in. There you go. First time we've ever had Decaville by the half metre. So if you want some, we have got it, but there is um, not much left though. First no. time we've ever, ever had it. Loads of you've been buying it. It's a good price. It doesn't come joined up. It's eight ninety nine for half a metre. So <coughs> if not having Decaville before has put you off making any bags, you don't need to anymore. Eight ninety nine. And it, I mean, it does use other things as well, obviously, but it does use Decaville. Yeah, yeah, Decaville. Right, we're going to move over to this side again, okay, Becky. Okay, okay. Which one are we going to do first? This one. Fixes, fixes I want to do the baby change. change in tote bag because we don't often see these. Do we? We don't often see a baby no. change in bag. Um, I'm just going to grab a bottle because you'll see the shape of that. <laughs> Other brands now, are available. So we have got instructions on their own as an option. I use yours. Mine's got a brand on it. Oh, oh okay. Oh, my cup of tea. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to use it. Yeah, that's fine, but I just need to close it. We'll have tea everywhere. <laughs> This is the first time we've done boxy squared bottoms. And oh, pockets, I see. So baby bottles can fit in. And it sits perfectly. So I it's not toppling the yeah, bag over. Yeah, look at that. See, look. So if you've got a bottle in it or a cup of tea, it so it's fits. it's got a box bottom. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got various options with this. Well, I'll show you what the options are, and then we'll talk through the bag. So you can get the pattern and the hardware. So this is the most, so the hardware is the zip. Zips and... And is that um, enough for both zips? Yeah, for all, all uh, two zips. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you get the, um, the D rings, the, the slider sliders. and yeah. the ring. So that's the whole thing. Because we, I know we often get people saying, can I have a baby, have you got a baby changing bag? Well, there we are. Yes. Okay. Because that's the pattern and all the hardware for it. Then we've got the... It's just the pattern on its own, but it's got all the templates. Yeah, it's got all the templates, um, and um, so I think tell me through the bag. Pictures, what's the? So you've got these are all feel like waterproof they lined. They are waterproof, so you can wipe them out with a baby wipe if you want to. Brilliant! You've got these special bottle pockets yep. that you can hold that up, and you can stretch it for if you are making it for um, just a, a gym bag. Yeah, some oh. people have made it for a gym bag. You can um, stretch this down to as big as you want or as right. Yep. Well, it fitted my cup. Yeah. Um, then you've got a oh, nice waterproof. So in here, you've got a waterproof lined pocket. Yep. And then shoulder straps, obviously. Yep. Oh, shoulder, hand, handles, as well as padded shoulder strap. Yep. This has got everything. This is like the ultimate <laughs> changing bag, isn't it? Vix sent me a video the other day, because I actually made her one. Oh, did you? And she um, was at the park, and Macy was swinging away mm. on one of the slides or whatever, and um, Vix had one of the babies, and she goes, look what's on my, look what's on my push chair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Was, uh, so, yeah. What fabric did you make hers in? Um, blues. It's actually the one on the picture. Oh, um, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, how sweet. And then and it's got internal pockets as well. There is so much here. This is like the ultimate baby changing bag. But like Becky said, you could use it for the gym as well. Yeah. And what, we've got one bundle. Right, so we have one, just the one bundle. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. With the panel in it. And is that this, which fabric is that? Oh, okay. Is it that one over there? No, that's the only go bag. We'll find that in a moment. No. There was no panel when I demonstrated it. Oh, was there not? There was no, no. panel. No. No. We'll move on. <laughs> we'll move on. The mystery goes. We'll move on. Which one should we do next? The, um... We have got... Park Lane. The rose bucket. Which, but this one, we haven't got this... The turnabout. 
Let's do the turnabout bag because I like that one. So tell me about the bag and okay. then we'll show all the bits. So it's a basic bag for mm. most beginners um, and it's fully instructions and then I did this in FPP. Oh. So basically you, in the actual kit you do actually get some FPP paper. Right, okay. Um, the reason why I've done FPP there is just to echo the the shape of the actual. Oh, that's block. nice. Yeah. So you can you can get either just the pattern with the instructions on their own, or you can get it with the hardware. So the hardware is first. Um, that is thirty one fifty. So you've got all the pattern. You've got the FPP papers. You've got the zip for yep. the internal pocket, yep. and then you've got this clasp. Yep. That's lovely, as well as. Yeah, that's a big clasp, isn't they it? They are. They're huge. Yeah. Wow, so I love the I love this. Yeah. So you can use up all your little bits and pieces just for and that. The good thing is you can use that template as well after you traced it off and you can actually do this exactly the same on quilts. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's so pretty though, isn't yeah. it? That's really nice. So that's called the turnabout bag. It's got pockets inside, obviously, with yeah, it. I need pockets. <laughs> you always need a pocket. But if you um if you get the hardware bag, then it does have the zip with it as well. So that's fab. Um, so that's thirty-one fifty. If you want just the pattern on its own, we do have that as well. Do, do, do. Obviously, you have to provide your own hardware. Yeah. But that's the pattern on its own. Thirteen fifty. And again, that's got all the um, the FPP instructions and everything as well. She's piling them up. Hmm? She's piling them up. I know she's. I know. I'm just getting, I'm getting more and more space. and more. You make a space, and she brings them. <laughs> the rose bucket bag. She's good. Old Becky knows what all of these are. There you go. Right. So tell me about this bag then. Um. Right. So don't know if you noticed, but that I is did. Zipper. So I. Um, I actually quite like this effect. Um, I really like that. So you don't use it, it's just decoration. It's de decoration. I really like that. But you have some zipper left over because that's only one side of the zipper. So Okay. And then there's someone um, made it on this side as well, so they use the other side oh, of the zipper. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. So that's a bit of a feature, actually, isn't it? It's like using piping cord. Yeah. But it's a zip. Yeah. Obviously, it has a zip across the top and D-rings, and I imagine it's got pockets inside. Yeah, it's got a zip pocket. With a zip pocket, of course. But then you need to. I think that's quite clever. Actually, that's very, I think that's really stylish. Yeah, quite a lot of designers are doing it now. Are so, they? Yeah. I've not seen that. That's all over. They're copying yeah. you, Becky. No. They're just copying you. No, no, it's been a quite a common thing. <laughs> uh, it's in, it's in actually um, uh, some wedding dresses. You know where they like got the beading and stuff. Yeah. Going on the piping and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of similar to that. It's lovely. I think that's really nice. It's quite tactile. Sort of wonder when you nails. Yeah, because I like you? textures. So yeah. obviously. Yeah, it's I, I've got a sentry problem. I like touching stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I must have that as well. Then. I'm like, what? Well, lovely to touch. Um, so in the bundle, twenty-three pounds, you get the full instructions, and you get the um, gorgeous zip that looks like metal but isn't. So there's enough the zip for the top, but also and to use piping. for this special piping, yep. and um, and then you've also got the D rings as well and the zip slider. Yep. So everything that you need to make this and the um, bag slider as well. Yeah, it's and if you want to there. go any further, you can add some bag feet onto it if you, as uh, well. Oh, okay, yeah, that's quite nice. So it's just a really nice handbag, yeah. general handbag size, but mm -hmm. a little bit different. Yeah, just slightly different, and it's easy, it's really easy to make. Okay, yeah. and again, it's a really good way, you know, you can, I mean, Becky's made this in PU and cotton, you could make it in just cotton, you could make it in canvas, but if you've got a piece of fabric that you really like, this is a really good way to use it. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fab. Thank you so much, Becky, for You're going welcome. through this. It's very confusing, but you've explained it all beautifully. <laughs> now, there are lots of other of Becky's kits on the website that we haven't had time to go through. We've run past on every hour, yeah, to be no, honest. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't know. Never mind. It's just sort of happened. Um, so, thank you. Lovely to see you today. No, thank you ever so much. And yeah. thank you for the lovely biscuits. No, it's all right. They've not, be, they're not been opened. I know. Hannah's trying to avoid them. <laughs> know. know what's going to happen, isn't it? It's going to give in later. <laughs> Yeah, and Kat's forgotten oh, about and the forgot biscuits. <laughs> I think she might have just remembered that they will be open. So, um, do you know when you're back in with us? November sometime. Okay. Yeah, I don't know when. Sometime in November. Sometime, late November. And maybe with that new bag? Hopefully, fingers oh, crossed. Yeah. You Looking never know. forward to that. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so thank much. Thank you ever so much. Thanks. Um,
I will see you back here in a few minutes. It's all about um, homeware kits. So if you fancy a kit to make life a bit simpler, we've got a whole host of different homewares for you to have a go about. So don't go anywhere, I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy Alan a present. 
If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Welcome back to Sewing Street. So this hour is all about homewares, which is fab. We've got all sorts of items for you. So if you love a kit, you're going to love all of this. I'm going to start off with a um, gorgeous poppy bag. This is very lovely. This is actually a really big bag because it's like your normal tote bag, but it feels much longer. Now this is one of Delphine's beautiful designs. So she's designed the whole panel and then it makes this beautiful poppy bag. So it's lovely. I mean, obviously, you know, it's got that kind of Remembrance Sunday vibe, but also it's just a pretty poppy bag, isn't it? This was demonstrated on the 19th of this month. Let me show you the panel. I mean, look at the price, right? 19.99 and look at the panel. This is massive because, I mean, if you wanted to make a totally glorious bag like this and have it all fully lined and matching, you could. Otherwise, you honestly could make two bags out of this. So the, the panel comes with the instructions as well. So what you've got, you can see the size of it now. You've got the tote bag front and the tote bag back. And then look at the lining. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the green of it. And you've got all like the mini poppy prints. So it's like a patchwork lining, but these are the same size. So what you could do is use your own fabric to line it. You've got two bags. I think that's amazing, isn't it? Uh, you've got the handles. It's also got um, pockets So there's because the inside of the bag has got a pocket outer and a pocket lining. Um, but then you've got extra pieces of fabric. So if you do make two bags from this, you've got a coordinating fabric piece here. That's not even used for any of the bag. Um, so you could use that for your own makes. And then the full instructions are printed on here. And there's extra poppies as well that you could then use to applique. So here's the bag made up, but you could cut out some of the poppies and applique on it. But I think it's a really, really lovely bag. Um, could be reversible as well because the, um, the handles are sewn into the top seams. If I show you this way around, it could be reversible and you've got a pocket on it. But it is a very pretty poppy patchwork bag, isn't it? I really like that. And I think that's incredibly good value money for money. For 19.99, I think that's very pretty. Amazing value. I would honestly make two bags though. Because if you bought, if you had some on, just even like a calico lining would be fine. But a calico lining or, um, or a red or a green, and you can make two from it. I think that is absolutely charming. So 19.99. Well, that's the Delphine poppy bag. Now, she also um, did a matching Charm Squares panel, which has got 45 inch Charm Squares. So let me lay this all flat so you can see them. So there they all are. 45 and an eighth inch Charm Squares. They obviously made these slightly bigger so that they can be trimmed down. Because if you want to cut them apart, then you can trim them. Because some people like to just cut them, but if you really want to trim them, these for some reason are five and an eighth by five and an eighth. So you've got 40 of them. So you've got like a whole poppy. You've got the poppy flowers. And then you've got, and I like the fact that you've got the green as well. It's a really lovely, I mean, it is the same color as the poppy stems, but doesn't it match beautifully? Um, now, Delphine actually made a cushion from this charm square, so you can just see the sort of thing you can make. You can see from here that she's just cut this out. She hasn't actually joined any of them together. So that's a really quick make, isn't it? I'm trying to find where she did it. Mm -hmm. 
that one and that one. Where does it go that, that and that? That's there, isn't it? Yeah, those squares. So you could just do that, that, and then on the back, she's made an envelope opening again. So you don't even need to cut them out. You can keep them all joined together, and isn't that gorgeous? Although it's kind of, I mean, poppies are from this time of year. It does feel very fresh and spring, doesn't it? But a nice little remembrance nod, I think. I like that. Which should we do next, Hannah? Right. Oh, poppy quilts. Yes, so we're still on the poppy theme. We're going to go poppy quilts. Thank you. So we've got the remembrance poppy quilt. So this was, um, these are, this is designed by um, Kerry from Living in Loveliness. They're really lovely quilts. So let me show you the instructions. This one is called Lest We Forget. So let me show you the instructions. So you've got full instructions here of how to make the quilt and all of the templates as well. I just want to see what the size of it is. This was uh, 42 by 42 inches. Phew. Sorry. Demoed on the 23rd of October. So look, you've got all of the, if you look at the front, it's you've got the appliqued poppy, you've got the less we forget that that's all appliqued, and then you've got the patchwork design and I, really like that um, scalloped edge around the edge. So this is done in um, applique and it's quite good because um, Kerry's provided the applique template in reverse already. Which makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? And then we've got um, all the template for the poppy and all the leaves. See? Oh, so Kerry's husband, who was in the army, he did the whole, drew the whole template for the poppy. That's nice, isn't it? I think it's lovely. It's a really nice size as well. It's just a nice thing, isn't it, to have, um, because it can be about and to remember anything, the less we forget. It's good, isn't it? Um, and you can make to sell these as well. So they're actually quite a nice thing to sell for charity or to hang up in, um, you know, have it as an auction, you hang it up in your local community hall or church. In the kit as well, so obviously after all the instructions, you get a metre of black fabric, then you get um, a metre of white, then you get half a metre of grey, and then you get this really nice red. I love this because that mottled red, I think that looks much nicer for a poppy than just a plain red, isn't it? Because you've got that mottled effect. And then you've got... Um, a fat quarter of green that's used for the leaves. So just twenty nine ninety nine. You've got a lot in there because you've got um, bond web templates, you've got applique templates, you've got all the instructions to make the whole quilt, and they really are very comprehensive. There's loads and loads of detail in there, and you've got all the templates as well, and all the fabric for just twenty nine ninety nine. I know. Um, we do also have the pattern on its own if you want if you want to provide your own fabric and the pat pattern and templates on their own just 10.99 I've tried to get it all back in its bag but no so pattern and templates on its own 10.99 obviously you will need to provide your own fabric but that is a lovely centerpiece but it might be something that you want to use to hang up somewhere or um, again you know make or donate to charity just 10 99 I think that's really nice because you don't often see remembrance quilts actually. Right, that's that one. Right. Okay, so there's one quilt here but in two colourways. Now this is a general just in memory. So this can be in memory of anyone or anything. Um, so you get the full instructions. So. So again, demonstrated on the 20th of this month. So this one has got black in it. So what you get in here, let me show you. So if you have a look at the picture, you see there's all these, um, the picture. What you get in here, it's like a window, isn't it? 
but these are all printed onto the panel for you so you know that it's actually going to work and they're all numbered as well CGK OS W A A E E L L M M Q Q. Yeah, no, I think that's. But you know it's going to work like this, and then you've got black fabric, and then that's used for around the outside of it. So it's 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 almost like um, a window. That is beautiful, isn't it? Just you know, without any words or anything, I think it's just a lovely wall hanging to have and the instructions as always very comprehensive even ex yeah it even explains how to cut it all up and how to join it and all the fabric cutting that you need to do it lovely isn't it really like that i think that's very very effective so we've also got it so this one has got the black background but if you fancy doing it with a navy background instead, well, midnight, there's not a massive difference. Yeah, let me put them. So now, this is midnight. Now, with this, with the midnight one, you get the same panel, exactly the same panel. You get the same instructions, but you get midnight instead of black. So do you want to see them together? So that's the black. This one, that's black and that's midnight. It is very subtle, but if you prefer that midnight navy and you don't want it as stark as black, but then you might prefer the seriousness of the black, then you have got a choice. Only 34.99, that's really good value, isn't it? Okay, I've got to get back in the right order now. Okay, right. Hang out the flags, which is behind me. Now, right, so you can either get the, because if you were with me at 10 o'clock when I talked about it, you can buy the full kit for it, or you can buy just the instructions. It's entirely up to you. The reason it, I designed it like this is that it uses the spring months of the flower shop block of the month. So it uses June, July, and August. So in the instruction, so, there's not many of the kits left, but you will get the instructions, which come with full video tutorials. You don't have to think about it. Um, you get um, June, July, and August Charm Square panels. So you get the whole June one. So there are 45 inch squares. You've actually got some left over as well, because you don't need as many as this. So you get the June Charm Square panel, all of that. And this is exactly what I used for it. I just mixed them all up. So you get the sweet pea panel. Then you get July, which is the roses panel. And you get August, which is the sunflower panel. There we go. So you get all of those panels. Then you also get... Um, a meter of um, the green spot. This is a lovely cotton poplin and I've used this for the bunting string that all the flags are held on. Then you get four meters of natural seeded cotton as well. And that's used for all of the background. So that is all the fabric you need. There's even enough in here to bind the edge of the quilt. I mean, you will obviously need um, wadding and background fabric as always but the bite but this um green is also used as you can see to bind the edge and that will make exactly what's on the wall right so the option that was also really popular when i first demonstrated this because i know a lot of people and this is the idea behind it was that this it's called, we've done a collection of designs called Just Charming, and the idea is you use charm squares. But I know a lot of people who've got charm squares or have got favourite fabric collections, or you don't need charm squares, you just need five inch squares, so you can cut fabric. But a lot of people messaged in when we did the show to say, oh, well, I've got a massive collection of Liberty, or I love my tool, I never know what to do with it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Or other people who said, I want to make a memory quilt, because I was thinking, you know, maybe... Um, you wanted to make, you know, maybe a loved one has, has died and you want to use their 
clothes for them but also a lot of people do memory quilts for children so it might be their baby years it might be their whole childhood and you've kept special clothes or it might be a wedding so you might have used fabric that was used for the bride's dress and the bridesmaid's dress or, or all different items and because I've done it with no templates it's purely drawing diagonal lines and seams took me ages to work it out but there's no templates I even quilted this myself under my normal sewing machine so it doesn't need anything special and I think how many flags I think yes yeah, 77 there are 77 flags which is great so you get more than enough in four charm square packs but that means you could use 77 different pieces of fabric you know it could even be the tie someone's tie it could be someone's shirt just think of all the things you could put on that but you could do it in a, or maybe you've just got little scraps of vintage fabrics, or maybe you want to do it in really bright ones or pastel ones. And then you can then choose. I mean, I've used, I would say when you do, when you do the bunting string, just either keep it a small print or a plain. And it's really easy to extend. Once you've made a few of the flags, you've worked out how it all works. You can make it wider, you can make it longer, any size. And the tutorial talks you through the whole of how to make it. And the video is completely free. So I know what a lot of you do. If you go onto the Amber Makes website in the, there's a section called tutorials. We'll go on that and watch how to do it and then decide whether they're going to buy it or sometimes they'll watch it as they're making it or they'll watch it um, just to see how oh, can I do it while they're waiting for their instructions. So the full video tutorial is on there, but it's not difficult. I mean, it's quite repetitive, obviously, because once you've learned how to make one flag, they're all made in the same way. But that's quite nice because you can kind of think, well, I'll do one row today. I'll do another row. I mean, to be honest, I did all of them at the same time. Well, and also it's not because what you do is you end up doing a couple and then you go, right, so there's two, there's various processes, maybe six processes involved in making each flag. So you do all the processes for all of them or you think, well, I'm just going to do one row and then keep it together. And it's quite nice as well, deciding the order. So I laid all my fabrics out onto the kitchen floor and they kept moving them all around. So that's quite a nice thing. And then just tried to go random with it. Anyway, instructions on their own, $9.99 for hang out the flags or you can get the full kit, which will make an exact version of the one behind me. Um, next, the Caravan Pincushion. Just pattern on its own. So Debbie, this is a design by Debbie Harris. It's the most the cutest little Caravan Pincushion. Look, just $9.99. I think that's glorious. Look at it. That's really, really, really sweet, isn't it? I love its little felt bunting. So you've got the templates to do the whole caravan. You've got all the um, everything you need to know about how to construct it, how to put the bunting on, how to join it all together. And it tells you at the back what you need. I mean, really, you know, you've got like a fat quarter fabric for the top, um, calico, but it's, it's little pieces of fabric. It's a really nice, little scrap buster isn't it or maybe you've got a favorite fabric that you want to put on the top or the bottom of it nice little gift i mean i'm thinking it doesn't even need to be a pincushion what a nice little ornament if you've got a caravan oh yeah you could you could fill it with um like potpourri or lavender or something but if you know someone who's got a caravan or if you've got one what a nice little gift yeah obviously it is supposed to be a pincushion but it doesn't have to be it could just be an ornament i think that's really cute 18th of july um debbie demonstrated this if you want to have a look back and watch the demonstration so you can pick up a few tips but you have got everything you need in there all the templates so once once you've got these instructions you can make lots of them and you can also personalize it you know, that's got bunting on it. You don't have to do that. You could um, embroider like little flowers all the way around it and window boxes and all sorts. I think that's really gorgeous. Right. Fabric bundle next. Whoa. Halloween panels. Right. So in this bundle, this is the Halloween bundle. We've got three fabric panels and a metre of fabric. So let's have a look at these. This Okay, so that's the whole bundle, but we need to look at them. But they, um, whoa, it's a bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit scary. Oh, look. So this is a fabric. This is one of the panels. Look at that. 
That is a bit scary, isn't it? Look. I think he looks actually quite scary. I don't like his mouth. Look, oh, he's got no teeth. Don't like that. And I don't like him. Look at him. <laughs> I'm not sure about the um, skeleton going like that with his fingers either. I don't think, no. You could make, um, you could make little get, um, Halloween trick or treat bags out of that, couldn't you? So that's one panel. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I think that's actually quite scary. That's probably, children would absolutely love that, wouldn't they? Finally, that one quite intimidating. What about the next one? Right, so this is another panel. Oh, this one's, actually, no, I prefer this one. This one's quite funny. This one's quite funny because, look, I'm not, I don't like him or him. Don't like either of them. <laughs> no, look at his look at his mouth. Don't like them. But look at the panel. So this could be a great wall hanging. In the same way, you know, we have all this Christmas stuff we bring out. Why not have a Halloween panel? And look, they're all dancing. Mm. I find it just a bit scary. Look at them all dancing. That's this one. So that's the second panel. So you can make that into a wall hanging, couldn't you? Put that on your front door. And then this is the third one that's a panel, which is just all the stripes. So if you wanted to make like a... Because this is all coming in the same um, bundle. If you wanted to make maybe a wall hanging or a quilt, you could cut these and join them together around the edge. Yeah, that one's not scary. It's, I don't like... It's the Dracula and the Frankenstein I'm not really that keen on. <laughs> it's like, Whoa. I like that and I like the um the street. But you see you've got several, so you could join a few of these together, so that's quite a nice border, isn't it? Or Chris make your Halloween outfit, couldn't you? You could Christmas nearly end up with Christmas. That's too much for Christmas. Too much. But this is not no. People imagine turning on Christmas Day going, Oh, sorry, sorry. Got the fancy dress wrong. But you could sew one of these borders like along the bottom of your skirt, couldn't you? you could join them together. So that's, um, and then we also get, so those are, this is in the same bundle. This is the ultimate Halloween bundle. So those are the three panels, and now I've got two half meters. Oh, now I like that one. Look at them all dancing. I think that's lovely. Again, that would be ideal for your little trick or treat bags. Yeah, it would actually. If you had a quilt, we've only got half a metre in this, but yeah, if you had a quilt that was like Beautiful Liberty, you had to turn it over and it was like, whoa, I know. I, think that, I, I like that actually. Yeah, it would be really good for the lining. Yeah, lining of a jacket or something. Yeah, he's there again. I'm Frank. I can hope cope with Frankenstein. Look at him. Oh, he's he's doing dad dancing. Look at Frankenstein there. Look. Can you see? Where's my finger? Look. He's dad dancing. So like going. <laughs> right. And then this is the fight. This is all in the same bundle. I'm still going. So we get three panels and two half meters. And then this is the final. Half meter. I like that as well. I think that's nice. Hey, that'd make a cool shirt, wouldn't it? So these are all available. These are all in the bundle. But now I'm going to show we've also got them available individually. So can we work backwards? Start with this one. So I'm thinking Halloween shirt. How cool. $7.99 by the half meter. So all you need to do is buy Adam's... Um, the great Scott shirt pattern, which you need two and a half meters of fabric for. And um, that Halloween shirt, where well, every year, every single year, all year round, or lampshade. When I was on holiday, I saw this couple in the, um, actually in the airport, and they had, this woman had this dress on that was massive flowers and a dark background, it looked amazing. Her husband, same fabric, a shirt, not quite so amazing. Child, small shirt, I'm thinking that's too much. 
isn't it? Whole family. And the fabric was like massive, like big blooms with a navy background. And they were all wearing the same fabric. She'd obviously gone on a bit of a sewing frenzy, I think. And her husband didn't even look embarrassed, but it just looked... I don't know, but it was just this family of like mum, dad, babe, child, all in the same... It wasn't like they were wearing the same shirt. I think maybe she'd got a job lot of the fabric. That's all I could think. Um, anyway... I like this one. So this one again, Henry Glass Halloween Ball Collection, Scary Silhouettes. Again, this is available by the half meter. So if you want more than a half meter, it will be sent as a continuous piece. Just 7 99 I think it's lovely. And you know, for Halloween, you either love or you hate Halloween or you just, or it might, it doesn't have to be Halloween, does it? I mean, it's called, you know, Scary Ball. You, it would look funny on, it doesn't, it doesn't say Halloween. It could be any time of the year if you like this kind of thing. Oh yeah, 50s dress would look cool in it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it's just a lot of fun, isn't it? A real, a lot of fun. And I think sometimes it's quite nice to make something a bit normal from fabric that's a bit odd, like making a, shirt a proper dress shirt from this be fantastic wouldn't it right so that's that one then we are on to panels so remember with the panels if you multiply they don't come joined up they all come as a panel so this is the border one so um if you wanted you know if you're thinking about putting these on to something else then you can join them together Yeah, I don't know why they cut borders and not do this as a continuous length. So you'd have more streets. Oh, I like that though. But lots of things you see, say you were making a load of trickle treat bags. You know, you'd only need a little border on them and then it would save on fabric. You could just use some plain fabric for the rest of it. Uh, next one. Again, if you just want the border panel for this one, for the dancing house. Yes, yeah, my best friends at the bottom don't like those at all. Mm. <laughs> oh, I just I find them a little bit scary to be fair. I'm not a horror film sort of person. Never. Mm, I think they are quite scary. I remember watching um I watched once when I was about 15 with my friend. We watched Salem's Lot. I've never been the same since. Have you ever watched Salem's Lot? If you haven't, don't. Honestly, don't. Never forget it. And I was about 15 at the time, and I and then I had to walk home in the dark. Oh dear, I was absolutely terrified. No one never watch again. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Then this is the final one. This is the one that I started with that I really didn't like. But I guess you know, if you like scary stuff and you like Halloween, then. I do. I mean, yeah, but think of the horror films and stuff that have like walk, talking, walking pumpkins and stuff. Oh, oh, and like that. It is. I don't really like Halloween. To be fair, I think it's a bit scary. All that jumping out on people in the dark. No. <laughs> honestly, I I think Hannah is laughing at me now, but I honestly think it go. It all boils. All boils down to um, Salem's Lot, that film. Yeah. Right, what do we do next? A bat? No, I don't mind a bat. Ooh, the fluffy bat. Oh, right, so the instructions come for free. That's cool, isn't it? Oh, I remember seeing him. This was demoed on the 15th of this month. Yours will be black though. Look at him. He's, he's quite a cute bat, to be honest. So the instructions come for free. In the bundle, you will get, and this is gorgeous, because we had this the other week for something. Can't remember what it was. Absolutely, it's like velvet soft, isn't it? Beautiful. It was for some sort of dressmaking, but I can't remember what. That's absolutely velvet soft. So you get, is it a metre of that? Oh, half a metre. Yeah, it's just very wide. And then you get white felt, green felt, and pink felt. Maybe the green eyes, because he's black, yeah, and actually, yeah, he wouldn't be able to have black eyes. 
so he's got green eyes and you get the pattern is that only 11.99 and when do you get the toy stuff in wow Rebecca we're, we're the family in the clothes made of the same fabric singing Edelweiss maybe oh, but they, I don't know why they were no they weren't they were an Italian family they look they actually looked all quite gorgeous and Italian and lovely and then I clocked their clothes but it was just the fact that there was the dress and it was a full-on dress big and then the shirt it's somewhere I can't remember in, I thought it was in the airport actually I don't think it was it was at a restaurant I know we were sitting at a restaurant and this this family were walking past Oh, you should have taken a photo. It was hilarious. But it was just... I reckon she just had a load of fabric. Good on her. They were nice, actually. If she'd made them, they were very well done. Maybe the mother-in-law made them. How funny would that be? Who knows? Anyway, look, eleven ninety nine. I'm amazed at that. I bet you've got more than enough to make one because I bet you don't need half a metre to make that bat. <laughs> yeah so you need a quarter of a meter for the body so you could make two bats out of this you might need a bit of extra felt but you could actually make two bats from this because it's half a meter and you need a quarter i watched salem's lot was trying to sleep expecting someone to float up to my window honestly janet i'm with it was awful just the most Oh no, I still feel quite traumatised by that. It's a terrible film. I mean, it's probably like really old. I think David Soul was in it. That shows my age. I think he was terrible. It's all about vampires anyway. <laughs> anyway, there's enough in this kit to make oh, two bats. You might need a bit of extra felt, not sure, but there's enough. Um, well, there might be. Oh, stop doing that. I'm getting fluff everywhere. Well, yes, probably because mm, there is. Oh yeah, cats. So yeah, there's enough to make two. See, there you go. So, eleven ninety nine for two bats. He's actually quite cute as well. Pumpkin patch fabric medical bundle. Thank you. Oh, we're going nice Halloween now. Just, I just, I've got so much fluff on the table now. Right. Right, this is only in the bundle today. Oh, is that what it makes? <laughs> oh, right, things that you could make with it. Oh, so this is the bag. Hello, pumpkin. Oh, how cute would that be? How many people call their children pumpkin or their dog? Right, and Hannah, that's really mean. Hannah calls one of her best friends pumpkin because she's got ginger hair in a round head. I think that's actually mean. <laughs> so, that's good. so I think that's lovely if you know someone called pumpkin. And then look at that little wreath. Okay, let me, I need to have a look at what's in this kit now. So in the bundle, you've got the panel to make the Hello Pumpkin bag which I think is brilliant. I think everyone knows somebody that they call Pumpkin. Oh, Hannah. Hannah, you should make your friend one of these. Do you think she'd like it? Right, so on here, you have got the bag out of the bag line, and you've got the lining, you've got the handles, you've got the pockets, and you've got full instructions too. So everything you need to do to make the Hello Pumpkin bag like this i quite like that actually it doesn't have to be anything to do with halloween it's just quite a nice bag then we've got is that fat quarters no sorry um charm squares five inch charm squares Ooh. there we go 20. pumpkin patch Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? This is nice, pumpkins. And crows. Pumpkins and crows. Do you think crows eat pumpkins, maybe? This is all in the same bundle. Then we have um, design roll. So it's the mega bundle. So look, we've got 16 fabric strips. They're all two and a half inches wide. 
but 25, 27 and a half inches long. So they, you've got two lots of them here. So you can cut them up and use them as a um, design roll, or um, you can use them as individual ones. And then finally in the bundle, we have um, four coordinating fabrics, 35 by 50 centimetres. So they are probably fat eighths. So we've got one that's got a, like a dusky blue background with the crows and the pumpkins. I love the trailing vines. So when we were talking about earlier about um, do pumpkins have leaves? Yes, I think they do. And then we've got, um, I do like the colours in here. Look at these. So you've got like the um, blue, orange and pink pumpkins. And then you've got the pink pumpkin background. And I think this is really pretty. Who made this thing, Kat? Oh, Catherine Wright made it, okay. Isn't that nice? So she's used some of the um, fabrics from the Fat Quarters and then a bit of orange and made pumpkins. That's lovely, isn't it? What a nice idea. So that is $42.97 and you're saving $7.99. So you get the um, fat, the charm squares, the fat eights, the design roll and the pumpkin bag for just $42.97, saving $7.99. Bargain. Right, so tomorrow tomorrow coming up on tomorrow's show um thank you for joining me today um at eight o'clock it is under 10 pound fabric bundles oh i love those hours i love oh it's hayley hayley's presenting tomorrow fab um under 10 pound fabric bundles nine o'clock yvonne is going to be here with village fabrics block of the month seven wow how's that happened Number seven. Um, and then at 10 o'clock, it's a nice day, isn't it? Emma Brassfield's in doing the divide and go caddy bag. Oh, that'll be nice. And then Yvonne's back, Village Fabrics Halloween. I hope she's not using vampires and all sorts. I bet she's not, though. That'll be a lovely one. And then Emma will be back at 12 o'clock doing the Luna backpack and the Sonia Beach bag. So you have got a lovely day. It kind of feels very um, sewing homeware orientated, but there's going to be a lot of learning. Uh, both of them are fantastic teachers. And you've got Hayley, who knows absolutely loads as well. So it's going to be a very good learning day tomorrow. Um, so thank you for joining me today. I will see you. Actually, I'm coming on Saturday because um, Christmas. We're doing Christmas at the weekend. So I'm going to come and do John's presenting. I've got an hour doing an Amber Makes show. So I will see you then and have a lovely afternoon. <laughs>